<laughs> Welcome everyone! Hey. Time for another lovely live stream with Stories from the Fae and our amazing crew here. We got Burke, we got not Jenna, we, <laughs> we have Merrick, we have Stieg, we have Tyr, and we have Victoria. And me, Hank, your GM. We are still waiting for our Jenna to arrive. Uh, and what is Kim doing? I'm He's trying to high five myself. High five. Okay, I see. So we have Kim on double cameras today, uh, filling in for Jenna until she can get her camera and uh, was it her headset as well? I guess. Yep, sure well, is. Yeah. yeah, sure is. Well, the um... the character who can talk to everything, but uh, unless it's people, so <laughs> she can't talk to us or the stream apparently. Mm. But that gives us time before the adventure starts to uh, ask how everyone's doing. It's been too long since we did our last session. So uh, we can start with the mystery man with the glasses. Uh, what's going on, Stig? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I just woke up this night with a uh, such a pain in my eye. And, and uh, it hasn't gotten any better throughout the day. I'm not sure what it's about, but it's like uh, the pupil isn't reacting fast to light. So perhaps I'm having a stroke or something, a very long wind. It's try I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, you like get sources an eye of light. As well, man. Yeah, infection. probably just an eye infection. Probably not a stroke. Yeah. So we'll check hope. in with you every now and then just to check that you're alive. Yeah. Can you see? <laughs> you see now with your sunglasses? <laughs> Are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> if he stops moving and the French is starting to be another uh, dialect, then we know it's something we really want. Sorry, perhaps I shouldn't joke about that. But I'm, I'm uh, considering that, and if uh, everyone's okay with me wearing sunglasses, I'm fine. Thank you. Yep. Uh, let's go on. We have... Uh, I'm trying to remember what order you're all sitting in. Uh, we have Stieg, and <laughs> next to Stieg we have... Victoria. Victoria. Yeah. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> How are you doing? What's my character doing? No, how are you how doing? You do? <laughs> I'm doing well. I came home today. Oh, you've been, so, you've been away, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. I've been away, so I've been super, super busy. My vacation, so to speak, started like two hours after my last exam. And so I got home approximately like two hours ago and I've done nothing except like basically clean and try to ensure that I'm here ready-ish. <laughs> So if I start like obsessively cleaning something because I just realized that it's on screen, don't mind me. I'm just gonna like <laughs> push shit. Awesome. Yeah. All right, then we have uh, Burke. What's up? What's up? I'm cool. I haven't done anything today. Yeah, I've been outside in the sun for two days now, so I'm pretty sunburned and it hurts. Just having a shirt on. I'm in pain. I'm in yeah, pain. I am. <laughs> constant, constant you pain. You should channel that pain, pain for pain, today's pain. stream because you will wake up with pain as well. But I'm not allowed to do pain anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you can only feel it. <laughs> you can only feel it. Yeah. And uh, we have double Merrick. We have Merrick and Merrick Jenna style. Yes, I am Merrick and Merrick too. Okay, now uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I've been. Uh, I, I got a new job three weeks ago, and I am just trying to adapt to that with combining to to a workout every morning at six in the morning. So I am tired now, <laughs> but it's good, and I'm excited for this. Except that uh, Burke uh, was stressing me out, like run to the computer now. And I was like, it's 15 minutes left. Take it easy. I'm here. And still we haven't started. <laughs> no, I know. I mean, like, I even managed to eat my rhubarb pie with, with ice cream. So I am, I am in Just a happy fine. place. I'm in a happy place. And let's go full circle to Tyr. I am... I'm basically great. Super excited for tonight. Uh, Not enough. Gotta make pie. shit go down. <laughs> I was speaking to Tyr earlier before we started the stream, and I think you guys have more planned for this episode than I have. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no. <laughs> so, uh, as soon as we get Jenna in here, I'm just gonna let you, uh, let you at it. 
Uh, but for those who didn't watch uh, last week's stream, oh, for, and I'm great, by the way. <laughs> hey. Thanks, Thanks for not for, asking. Thanks, Thanks for, for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, it's, I take the word and I just don't ask myself how I'm doing. That's how I'm doing. That's how we Seriously, know. I'm okay. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the last time, uh, w shit went down. You found an Antorian encampment. Hey, of course, uh, we had a prophecy as well. Someone just blurted out a prophecy. Oh, we question. went to an blah, blah, blah. we went to an Antorian encampment and got or prepared for some much needed rest. But then shit got real. Somebody released a crazy goblin. Someone else uh, knocked out a guard and released a crazy Ixna. And then things just went crazy after that. He didn't do anything. No, I, and I have to say that the goblin wasn't very crazy. He was just trying to run away. It wasn't like he was totally crazy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I just don't want you to feel uh, that the party is the crazy bunch. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, crazy. Trying to, I'm trying to keep the illusion alive that you are actually the normal ones and everything else is crazy. Sure. But we all know the truth. I mean, the episode was so crazy, I forgot about the prophecy, so thanks for reminding me. Yeah. You're welcome. I wow. About it as well, and I am supposed if to you want it. to read the prophecy, uh, you can actually find it yeah. in our archive section on our Discord server. Uh, a link to the Discord server is actually in the live chat right now for those watching. So if you uh, watch this in the right now or in the upcoming week, the link should be uh, active and you can join our little Discord realm where yeah. you can... Uh, read uh, about prophecies and such make your own assumptions and theories and you can put up some screen grabs and, oh what just that so we lost I... I lost burke i lost burke we lost burke oh. Oh, he read the prophecy and it killed oh, <laughs> we lost half yeah. of okay, our crazy so now okay so big you're now jenna i'm split <laughs> oh my god i'm burke <laughs> uh... and i am gm Hey. Oh. <laughs> guys, guys, Burke is in the voice of the people chat. Oh. <laughs> oh. He changed <laughs> the chat. He was like, I I want to go and look, and then he changed the chat. And then he... Well, do we want him to be the voice of the people? <laughs> He's back. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Welcome back. You know, Thank you. Uh, you. I need to do this. I need to start my camera again, right? Yeah. yeah. Yay! And everything should go back to normal without Jenna. This is this is what I get for posting that second technically technical difficulties uh, uh, video. <laughs> no, my Discord just froze. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Had to restart it. But I was you for a short while. That was amazing. That was cool, I right? Was GM, yeah. GM for a short while. I I, uh, yeah. I released yeah. you. Anything can. Yeah, he could have turned off the cinematic mode. Who who knows what would happen then? Oh, hey, really good. Oh, much power. Crazy. <laughs> You're crazy, person. Oh, that was nice. Uh, I'm just switching the... from one can to another. Just realized that. Like, one disappears, and another one follows. <laughs> Do we so have ready. any update from Jenna? Is she joining us? Have... We don't know. We do not know. We... She has seen the mobile phone suggestion. That's all I know. Yeah, she yeah. has seen it, yes. I have heard nothing else. Uh, but uh, we could always read uh, read the prophecy uh, for uh, for those of you who have forgotten. I can read it. Yes. I want to read it. I can read it. But oh, I don't. Re I will not read it with a doom voice. I will just read it go to ahead. you. Uh, yeah. uh, so, uh, this, uh, is the, this is the prophecy. The two will become one by the hands of the divided. The one who bears the name will give as she steals. Blind, her enemies will lead her as they follow. Defiant, her adversaries will assist her as they oppose. Innocent, her allies will suffers, uh, suffer as she protects. And the world of ambition will be content. Two will become one by the hands of the divided. Two will become one by the hands of the divided. Dum 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 dum. Oh. Oh, that's, that's that. What does it mean? Oh, well, we don't know yet, do we? Mm. Aren't you supposed to be a clever guy in this? 
party? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, you're welcome to theorize. <laughs> right, what so I, I mean? theorize that we are supposed to divide Burke <laughs> in half. In half. And then he will become <laughs> one? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> We can stitch him back together. Yeah. Or the party will become one in doing so. Oh god. If I die, the party will become, become one. I mean, like, it says defiant <clears throat> adversaries will assist her as they oppose. So when Burke opposes, he will also be defiant. But I mean, he if the party is her? divided now, and we kick Burke out, then he will become one. <laughs> <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> Big brain time. <laughs> yeah, the thing about her allies being punished, that's cool as well. Yeah, innocent, her allies will suffer as she protects. So when she tries to protect, her allies will be... will suffer? Are we talking about the Witch Queen? I'm assuming yeah, I'm, we're doing I'm, that? I am assuming. It, it kind of fits the Witch Queen, but... Right. What's her proper name, GM, please? I have it here. Wait, Jean. Uh, which oh. one? The one who calls herself Witch Queen? Well, yeah, it's TV and Boom. It was it she who one? was talking no. in your head? Oh. We got oh. one more incoming. The one who was talking in my head oh. was, uh, was one of the sisters of the Seven Crystals. It was. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, let's see here. You have uh, a few Witch Queens that you've known of. You, uh, the first one you could find, the earliest one, is Tefi al -Um. She yeah. was a uh, witch queen of the Nux Empire yeah. and uh, the goddess of death and all that. Yeah. Then there was uh, the uh, Bela, the bloody Bela, yeah. who was a witch queen in the Highlands uh, about East 500 Watch. years ago. East, and then what's bloody Bela of Eastwatch? Uh, I, at least, yeah, I, I have written it down. That she... And wrote it down wrong. Was Bela? Oh, maybe I'm getting it wrong. Let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Witch Queen, we have, yeah, Bela Vosk, Bloody Bela, the Witch Queen of Eastwatch, you're definitely great. That's uh, that's also a few thousand years ago, and then it was Hekna Nor, the Highland Oracle, uh, who was the Witch Queen of Wyvern Peak, so that was a Highland... Uh, far North, uh, I have written it down. Far North, yes. Hekna hey, Nor. Hey, like, you know, Hank... Usually, people settle for one witch king or witch queen. Usually, yeah, but then they die, so then we find, need to find a new one. <laughs> but yeah, good. The, 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 prophecy, <laughs> the prophecy I got from Esmara, I think. The Oracle. Oh! Yes. Ah, I see so oh. you! Hola! Hello. I will jump out of here then. Whoop! No, that was wrong. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. I, I am. I am back. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I heard. Oh, I heard something. Yeah, everything is. I am. Talk back. to us. Ta da! Okay, I kind of turned a whole thing down in the meantime. This is gonna be glorious. But it's kind of funny. But everybody is in the right place and everything looks great. <laughs> this is another technical issue episode. And it's, it's gonna be an issue where, where everybody's on the screen and then. It's only me and you all is gone. And then it's me like, whoops. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Welcome, welcome to the best of streams. Yeah, yeah boy. We and here. We've already... Oh. Oh. Where are you? In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh, wait, no. My mom's. Oh. At your mom's place. Right, oh, so... Shit, the eight-year-old laptop. Oh yeah. Yes, your sound and quality is a bit subpar. It doesn't work because I think it's too new. So the drivers for my laptop is like, no. Mm. It sounds like a I robot, right? It's not only me. No, it's yeah. not only me. She, <laughs> she sounds like a robot. So basically, she's gonna portray Jenna even better then. <laughs> it's a robot. Yeah. Yeah. Like people. Uh, a bit. Yeah, a little bit. I like. I like uh, that. Uh, yeah, you're can, can you delay. Please zoom me out a bit from my camera. <laughs> no, no, no. We're going with half faces today. <laughs> I'm like yes. Very close. To the camera. <laughs> you're very close. To Hello, the camera. audience. Hello. You know what? So actually, both both you and I are actually very close to the camera. I realized that. Yeah. It wasn't like that a couple of streams ago. Well, I haven't moved 
anything. <laughs> I'm not closer. touching, but I can. I can. No, I'm way closer to the camera than usual. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. You are. Yeah. You're way, way closer than usual. Uh, well, we are here. Y you are. <laughs> Wait, where are we? <laughs> should we? Should I we jump the over to the, for the server? Should we jump over to the actual streaming so people can see the stream? And our portrait a, a little less. Yeah, I'm just gonna pour a drink here in preparation. <laughs> Do that. And I will jump to the other place. And here we are. Yay! Welcome <laughs> to. Uh, welcome back to the world of Stories from the Fae. <laughs> Where we left off last time, there was a bit of uh, commotion in an Anturian skirmishing camp. In the middle of the Noxvar desert. And in the aftermath, a few Anturian soldiers lost their lives. Oh. And uh, another one was turned into ham. Boo. Boo. Well, <laughs> Hammy Ball can be turned back. I'm just pointing that out. Yes. God, we're still going with that name. Yes. It's a great name. Of course it's we great. are. It's a great name. It was just Boo. merging the two ends and we're done. <laughs> yeah. Either way, um, as uh, the coldest night in the Noxvar history uh, came to a close, uh, the two soldiers, Burke, oh, sorry, Tyr and Stieg, had finished digging and uh, placing the bodies in their new graves outside the Antorian camp. And uh, five graves for five soldiers. The night has been extremely cold, so the sweat that has been uh, building up on your brow and forehead have run down to your beards and started to form ice crystals. You're tired and you are, well, exhausted from the work. Digging through the sand has been dig like digging through tundra as uh, all the uh, heat from the desert mysteriously disappeared during the night. But you're done. You are finished with your work. You all only need to cover up the bodies. But that's something that the howling winds will do for you, given enough time. Question. Is this the night directly after we release the Witch Queen? Yes. You haven't rested since you visited Tefi Alum. And it so, is also are the we coldest thinking... night. Wow. Yeah. Are we thinking those two pieces of information are connected? <laughs> it's usually pretty cold at night in the desert. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, we, we don't know what cold it is normally. Do, would, would we know what a normal desert temperature is? Um, or is it just uh, a GM? You, uh, well, uh, you, you don't know the normal weather, but you spent an afternoon night last time you and Jenna was here. Uh, you went back. Uh, but as you came out of the tomb, the sun was still setting and it was very cold. Hmm. And it's only been getting colder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're creating an ice age. I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you okay. think it's a... Uh, isn't it very cold right now? Hey, my beard is frozen solid. <coughs> yes. Well... Uh, do you think it's uh, usually this cold, is my question, of course. Mm. Well, uh, I don't think so. It seems weird for a desert. Yes, but my thought exactly. The differences are like uh, night and day. In the desert. Well, that yeah. doesn't make sense, actually. Mm hmm. Hmm. So, uh, Tio, I was thinking, uh, what should we do about the uh, loose cannons? We don't have cannons. Uh, loose. Uh, <laughs> what should we do about the crazy people? <laughs> you mean the? <laughs> you mean the loose ballista? <laughs> loose ballistas. <laughs> yes. What should we do about the loose catapults? In our company, I mean, uh, it feels like it feels like you, uh, as me, has a bit of affinity for uh, planning out a smart strategy and performing it in the best way possible. 
Mm. And then we have a couple of people who will uh, shit all over our plants. Yes? Right. Well, so, uh, <laughs> have you any ideas about uh, handling them in a convenient way? Uh, I mean, uh, they have useful skills. I won't say uh, they do not have useful skills. Super useful skills. Extremely. But... I, I do think you're right. And I do have a few plans, at least, on how to uh, deal with our uh, loosest uh, catapult. Uh, first of all, I think the lad needs a talk. I don't think he understands the consequences of his actions. He yes, seems... I am assuming you're correct. So, uh, mm. me not very familiar with the dwarf culture. I mean, I've hardly fought your kind at all. Is he? Mm. Uh, is he? Uh, is this behavior normal for a dwarf? Or, no. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Definitely not. But I'm not sure how uh, much dwarven culture he's had experience with. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's lived his entire life in a cave or if he's been up in the surface with humans. Okay, um, I see what you mean. But uh, then again, he is very close friend with a magic magician, and we sorely need him, I think, for the for the mm. job ahead. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, he's just a bit... Uh, I mean, you can hardly trust him. You uh, hardly ever know what he's about to do. He, he just does things his own way. And, uh, Chaotic this is... and uh, trigger happy, perhaps? Yeah, I'm sorry, I would not uh, assume to blame somebody else for being more trigger happy than I am. I mean, this is my job, <laughs> yes. Uh, but, uh, well... Okay, wait, good talk. Let's go back to camp before the other ones uh, miss us. If you didn't have uh, anything else to say. No, I'm sore, tired, and freezing. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, this is a good plan. Let's see if the other ones are sleeping. You turn around to leave. You hear sort of a whistling noise as a strong gust of wind rolls in from the hills around you and blows a large cloud of sand over the graves you've just dug burying the Anturian soldiers. The, fe the wind feels unnatural somehow, yet it feels like the desert rewards you for a job well done and rewards you with rest. Uh, do and I, I will any... add a few do favors any... to your uh, uh, favor dipo. Are we talking oh, like the eternal you... rest type thing? Or... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> not the eternal type. Do uh, I get any pricklings of the hairs in my back, or...? Uh, you get a sense of... Uh, well, of, uh, of godly presence. Uh, as uh, uh, a few of the uh, deities in this world reward you uh, with favors for taking care of the dead. Right, well, I mean, that's... I have buried a few uh, dead people before, but uh, <clears throat> this was very convenient. Yeah, and a bit perplexing. Let's you go. think this is uh, normal for the... Okay, let's set out of here. Oh, can I use my... So, uh, having gained mystical skills recently, mm -hmm. not being able to perform any magic, but perceiving, uh -huh. can I have an attempt at perceiving magic? Uh, as I said to uh, to Tyr as well, the, you uh, don't sense any sort of magic, more like a godly uh, or sort All right, of right, right. ancient presence. So perceiving is not for uh, godly things. Uh, oh well, religious. yeah, you, you don't need to roll anything. It's just. All oh, right, right, right. Oh, sorry, sorry. I just want to throw some die, but uh, <laughs> I can survive without it. Uh, welcome back to the camp, everybody. Uh, I don't know uh, if uh, anyone has gone to sleep yet. Uh, I'm sleeping. Except for, except for <laughs> the unconscious <laughs> uh, But uh, Jenna, I don't know if you're still with us. I yeah, put, she, put you next to the, yeah. to the oh, residential she group. She is here, <laughs> uh, but her camera doesn't work on the phone. And, ah, and on her computer. 
and uh, tail spire she need an inlog for it but at the same time we were discussing it maybe her computer can't even handle tail spire we don't know that yet uh, oh. no we, we can't see jenna's cam in the in, 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 <laughs> in here yeah i am talking to jenna on the phone yeah. at the same time uh, <laughs> i see it you hear me talk sir yeah yes. we hear you kind of. Hello. it's coming out every now and then but it's we can't hear you well i'm just gonna Oh. Just gonna yes. She's gonna get yes. on the phone. Two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That does kind of work with like Jenna's speech pattern, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Like it's not completely out of the, out of the blue. Like it works. From Hank as well. okay. Please have put up a picture of Jen of like the oh. moose instead of Jenna's face, oh, since we yes. can't see it. Oh, I'm not split. Ow! Oh, my face! We shouldn't have again. talked to her! Don't talk to her! It causes the curse to reappear! Apparently! <laughs> 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 who, who discorporated Jenna? Well, I have to blame her mother right now. Because <laughs> she is. She's a nice lady, how <laughs> dare you! <laughs> yeah, but she at her mother. She doesn't <laughs> <work>. <laughs> Move towards the light, Jenna. No! <laughs> don't! Don't go towards the tunnel. No, don't go towards the tunnel. Turn around. It's a flamethrower. Ah, <laughs> flame oh gosh, it's great. Uh, it's working so, great. Uh, I'm I'm still in in the same spot. Yeah, you say it's everybody is only uh, Tyr and uh, Victoria and Steer who is uh, missing. Around. Everybody uh, except for half of okay, the other one. Okay. <laughs> except me. Okay, never mind. Ignore what I said. It's um, just. I thought it wasn't that bad. We don't need to see our face. We can hear the voices. So Jenna will just have to talk to her goat some other time. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, she's trying on the phone, so she'll be probably back in. Yeah. yeah. Here she goes. Hola. Oh. Terrifyingly good timing. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, she's here. Hey. Yeah. And, and the, the positive part here, Jenna, is that you can yourself just back away from the camera. <laughs> It's close. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! <laughs> this is great, great TV. Anyway, the manual <laughs> zoom out. Yes. Oh. Uh, I will try. I will at least try to move Jenna so she doesn't have a uh, <laughs> doesn't have a gray bar on the side. I will try to do that. Well, you guys talk. In the yes. Room. Uh, Tyr and Steg, you enter the Anturian camp. You see, uh, you see Victoria sitting uh, uh, with her uh, journal, the notes, and you see Merrick doing the same, but instead sitting a little bit further from the fire and in the moonlight. Yes. And you see Jenna. What are these uh, notes? Do we all know about them? Uh, I would suppose they're either her journal or it might be the scribbles that you found in the sewers. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, just writing like to whom it may concern. I'm surrounded <laughs> by lunatics <laughs> and murderers. <laughs> Please save me. No. <laughs> um, can I choose? Because uh, I mean, yeah. I feel like we are very curious about these scribbles. Yes. Sweet. Then I will. I am looking at the scribbles. Scribble, scribble, scribble. What did they say? Uh. You can't really tell what they say. Uh, you've been uh, trying to decipher them or decode them for a while. And uh, just as Steg and Tyr are coming into the camp, something sort of shifts in your brain. And all of a sudden, it feels like you, you're hearing the runes talk to you. And then you snap out of it as Tyr and Steg burst down in next to you uh, with their clunky armor and their... Well, probably uh, shattering teeth because of the cold. Okay, the just to check, the, the runes, like the, the, the scribbles? They all, uh, for like half a breath, it felt like they all made sense. And just as quick, the sensation disappeared. So, what are you reading then? Well, I... Well, I was, oh. I was trying to uh, decode some of these... Terrible, terrible script levels. <laughs> but they. I was so close. I was so close. I, I thought I could understand them for just like a, 
half a second, and I don't know if I'm losing my mind due to the inexplicable cold. I cannot feel my fingers. Yes, right. Is it not very cold for being in the desert? Or is it just me? I I don't I don't particularly travel to the desert. I do know that they get some, like quite cold during the night, but this feels it's it's quite chilly, and I'm not certain that it's actually supposed to be this chilly. Do you have their eyes on the water? Yes. There has begun to form some eyes over on the, uh, the smaller puddles by the oasis. And uh, the uh, sort of uh, plant life around seems to be reacting adversely and uh, quite uh, <coughs> badly to the, uh, to the cold. Well, I have something that can help with the cold. And I'm going to pull up a uh, small... Not so small, pretty big bottle of brownish liquid. Uncork, have a swig, give to uh, Victoria. Uh, I try to grasp it with my cold hands. Just like. <laughs> just uh, be a bit careful, it's very strong. I feel like I, I've had chemical compounds that smell less. Than this. Well, I can promise you that this is pure. That's quite worrying, actually. Well, it does the job. It cleans <laughs> up paint like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> so does arsenic. All right. <laughs> so does arsenic. I just take oh. a small, teeniest, the tiniest of sips. <laughs> like I'm worried it might be poison. Well, actually, actually be... I just realized this. Can can humans drink this? Uh, <laughs> drink once this. at least. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could, I imagine her just being like, "Oh, wonderful!" Wait, once <laughs> 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 she realizes. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you you can definitely drink it. It's just normal hard liquor, very hard. <laughs> Don't mind me climbing, drinking Excuse my Excuse me, uh, uh, does anybody know where the goblin is? A new no. No. Uh, does the goblin go? Yes? No? I believe you can smell him. He went to bed. Well, yes. Uh, I... Merrick, you know that he's sleeping next to the unconscious dwarf in the large communal tent. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, so, yeah, you can ask everybody? Okay. <laughs> I was like... Yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, Mary's like, <laughs> I mean, it's all mine. Uh, oh, well, yeah, the, 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 the goblin is inside sleeping next to Burke. So, he's still here. Is he, okay, like, is, tied is up? Good. Or, like, are we, are we quite certain that he's actually won't well, take off? Uh, I guess he won't take off now when we have actually killed his captivator. I'm not sure if I'm. Well, if I, if I trust it, it all that well. Well, they kind of was holding him captive, and I don't think that is what we should do. But we should keep an eye on him. That is, that is for sure. Wait, wait, wait. So we have no problem killing four human beings, but uh, tying up a goblin. This is a big no-no. Okay, I see where your morals stand. Well, I see it quite... like this. We uh, have a huge problem killing, well, basically everybody. <laughs> However, circumstances forced us to, and we will take care of this particular circumstance when it wakes up. But in the meantime, we should uh, probably err on the side of doing good. And the goblin hasn't done us any harm, so let's try to be nice to make up for all the bad. At least that's what I think. Well, I will bend to the will of the majority in this case. I, even though I don't think... He doesn't seem quite loyal to us. 
Not at all. Neither is he trustworthy. I mean, this is the problem that we're uh, expecting a goblin to think uh, logically. When we all know that, uh, yes, he's quite incapable of ever thinking logi uh, logically. Yes? I mean, Not he might as well uh, escape on the pig in the dead of night. Oh. Is pig still here? Yeah, Hammerball. Is the pig is in the cage? Uh, <laughs> Hammerball. I can actually turn Hammerball back if you want to. Maybe he will freeze if he's out here alone. Yes. Perhaps we should not let. I mean, if we're uh, uh, trying to do good, perhaps we should not let uh, the quartermaster face to death uh, no. in the shape of a pig. Uh, maybe somebody should bring the pig inside, and I will turn him back to a uh, human pig. Oh yes, but then he might also try killing us in his sleep. I mean, he's an Anturi, and he's probably quite loyal. To so his, uh, fellow we should years. tie the pig up inside the house so he doesn't freeze to death, and all sleep to get some rest into the morning, and then I turn him back to a person that you can talk to. All right. We should also consider that whatever we decide to do with him, if he ever gets back to his homeland. Mm. He will probably tell everybody about what we've been up to, and that will compromise Stig in a major way. Well, this is it's hardly uh, possible for me to get compromised, uh, more compromised in Antoria than I already am, I must say, though. Uh, uh, right. But I am very happy you're thinking of me. Let me have a talk with the pig. With the quartermaster, I mean. Put the master, big, <laughs> big master. Well, he can't answer you back though, but yeah, you, you go. <laughs> but does he understand me? Do you understand me? Can you uh, shake your head? Can you nod? He could wiggle. He okay, wiggles. this is good. So one hey. wiggle for yes, two wiggle hey. for no, okay? Oink. Okay, <laughs> oh, he makes... Oink. <laughs> Wait, what is the, what is the French... Uh... <laughs> Was the French pig sound? It's, it's not only right. We. Oh. <laughs> 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 we have Never the, mind. Qu the quarter pig. What does yeah. the quarter pig? Coin coin. Apparently, according to the almighty Google, uh, the pig sound in French is groin. <laughs> groin. Oh. Groin. Oh. As in. Uh, okay, so one groin, groin for yes, two groins for no. <laughs> Le oink. <laughs> Sorry, any French listener, but we keep. Oh yes, sorry for mangling this beautiful language. Le oink. No French people were hot on the making of this thing. I think that is the right one. Le oink. Yes. Okay, so one oink for yes, two oinks for no. Is this understandable? Oink. Oh, this is good. Okay, uh, and uh, try no. Can you say no as well? It turns around and you hear a <laughs> as the uh, pig defecates in your general direction. In my general direction. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom this means uh, no. I'm gonna also move away from the cage. Okay, Hannibal. Hannibal, are you listening? <laughs> are you listening? <laughs> Okay, so we have a uh, trouble here, because I uh, think you're a very trustworthy soldier, and I unfortunately am uh, stuck with a couple of uh, dumbass loose catapults in my uh, uh, team of brave adventurers. No brave, sorry. Uh, yes, so uh, right now, uh, uh, some of them are thinking about uh, perhaps we should kill him just to uh, stay safe, but I think we should not. I think we also should not let you freeze to death. So I'm. Uh, I want you to. I want to bring you into the tent and turn you back into a human being, and I want your promise that you will not murder us in our sleep while doing so. Would it be okay w with you to being tied up while being in the tent? The pig stares at you, and then sort of nods its head. <laughs> you are not following the rules of the communication I just made up. Where's the oinks? 
<laughs> Seems okay, to be contemplating it's situation and then gives you a sort of a oink. Okay, Anibal, follow us into the tent then. Wedding. No, wait, attack? No, please. Everything is oh. going right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, no, no funny business. No or let my comrades uh, kill you. Up, 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 up. Where are you going, pig? <laughs> Get away time. <laughs> <laughs> The pig walks over Merrick's notes. Oh my god. And uh, sort of <laughs> <laughs> makes a mess of things. Petty revenge. And stays close to the fire. Wait, Leon. wait. <laughs> I am picking up my notes and brush them off of swine. Was it just me who saw Merrick flying away right now? <laughs> that was, that was no, it's <laughs> He became so upset, he turned into. Uh, <laughs> Uh, rocket. <laughs> so it looks like uh, the pig wants to stay close to the fire. Okay. It seems to be sense. very cold. Oh, he wants to be bacon. Oh, love it. <laughs> Kevin Bacon? <laughs> Kevin Bacon. Le oink. Well, yeah. Never mind. I am uh, brushing the <laughs> notes off from swine stuff. So, Merrick, please, you sing. Oh, should I turn him? Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you have any? Uh, am, do you want me to roll, roll. Hank, a GM, or do you want me to uh, roll die? Yeah. Why not? Let's roll. See yes. what happens. Yes. What's uh, the worst that I could just happen? I need to get my dice. That is over here. Wait. You do have dice in the game engine as well. In game die. In game die is funnier for everybody. Come I on. Have, uh, okay. Uh, so it's five. I could fatally. Fuck this up, and he turns into a in-game dime. In -game what could I? What could I? What could I turn him into? Okay, let's Flush try this. Off. So uh, Merrick touches uh, this pig's head, disgusted, and mm. um, he get he get thirteen, which is not that great, but. Uh -oh. 13, I think he's enough. His head only turns human. <laughs> he's still a pig body. <laughs> See how, how this... I'm gonna have nightmares. How this swine next to the fire, the shadows play along the skin as it slowly changes in pigments, and it sort of ripples through as the, uh, the legs grow longer, and the neck grows thinner, and the head shrinks and contorts, and all of a sudden, a naked... Uh, Quartermaster stands in front of you. Oh, good lord. Uh, <laughs> make, it, make it crawl on all four with a leash. <laughs> no, Hola, big boy. <laughs> so he takes another swig. <laughs> and the first thing he does when he sees he's got his own uh, body back is that he does a quick punch to the gut of uh, Merrick. No, uh, I have not heard of him no. at all. I have yet. And then he just uh, steps forward uh, towards uh, Stig and holds up his hands. Hi. May I okay, please I put this. some clothes on first? Of course. Uh, just not seeing anything. It's like, oh god, oh god. Victoria, would you please get this man's clothes? I, no, please. I would not get him any clothes. He's not wearing any. I will not look. I will not look. Okay, you it's can improper. do it with your back turned. This is very easy. When you walk away, you uh. just do it naturally. And uh, when you walk back, just watch your step and walk back. Oops, yes. Uh, I just, I do it. <laughs> Yo, do you have any ropes on hand, please? I think so. Hold on. Um, do I have rope? Yep, uh, I have rope. There you go. That's... 20 meters so Mer Mer Merrick says in, in Elvish, in, in Moonborn Elvish, he's kind of curses and go some say something like, oh, the Anturian swine should have a leash on him and naked all freaking night in the cold. And he just turns around and walks back to, to his seats over here. 
But it's in Elvish. Nobody understands. <laughs> You're handling this you very sure? well, Mary. I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensing hostilities. <laughs> like you can't hear it, haha. Ha. Okay, so uh, Victoria is doing that, or she's not doing that. Yes, I. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay. Well, otherwise, you can also guard the quartermaster if you like, and make sure he doesn't uh, uh, outman you. What? I mean, or outwoman you. I don't want to be sexist. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm quite certain I can be outmaneuvered by a pack of squirrels. I, I'm not all that strong. So I will be. I will grab clothes. For the interest of everybody here, I will grab clothes for him. And Jenna doesn't seem to be very bothered. Yes. <laughs> She's staring at the goat. She's staring at the goat. Oh, he calls to you, uh, Victoria, and says, "My warm clothes are in the small tent next to the camel." Up, oh, yes, very good, sir. <laughs> just S stop touching him. <laughs> and I was just. Oh, sorry. Just that was really, a... really not look while I walk. <laughs> That's just the image turned up in my head when you look. Okay, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, folks. I'm really sorry. Not from around racist, here. Uh, but not sexist. <laughs> uh, no, Jenna, we cannot hear you. No. Sign language. No. Yes. Emote more. Emote. Okay, something with the ceiling. Oh, she's angry. She's mad. Yes. Remember. Enunciate. Use your diaphragm. <laughs> it's a forehead. I mean, who's closest Everyone? to Jenna in real life? Maybe she can just scream out her window and someone can translate. <laughs> and nobody knows because Jenna can't tell where she is. <laughs> well, I do know where she is. I am definitely not closest. Okay. Uh, fine. <laughs> I think our <laughs> Fabros are actually the closest. Uh, in Gothenburg? Yeah. Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> oh, are yeah. But by the way, uh, Andreas in the chat was like, I was promised technical help? difficulties. Now we hear you. I am pleased. <laughs> yeah, <have> you. <laughs> <laughs> you got your Jenna. Deliver, Andreas. <laughs> Jenna, please speak up. We can hear you, but they were talking. I have to use push to talk because my cell phone is also old as fucking. <laughs> You're so high Can't you tape? Tape it. <laughs> well, the push is, you know, a a touch. <laughs> oh, that no. Three okay. Old, <laughs> you can not that old. <laughs> One of those no. old phones. Right. Because I've been talking, and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna. Not talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. I'm like, well, I can guard him. I can translate the pig. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have been on on the go from. From over there, from the pig time. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Well, you sound better now, at least. Yeah. No robotics. Yeah, but uh, she's on her phone now. Yep. Yeah, she's yeah. on the phone now. Yeah. All right. So if I, like, I'm just gonna, not gonna scare my character in game because I have to hold the phone now, push it, pushing the button all the time. Yeah. We will move the character when you tell us to move. <sighs> Yay. Yeah. Thank you. She wants to move. <laughs> she wants to move. No. 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 Okay. Is is Victoria? We are actually taking like ten minutes of getting a pair of clothes for a naked man. Okay. I'm role playing. Okay. <laughs> this is effective role playing. <laughs> it's like, would We're you prefer? We're not gonna get out of the camp this turn either. <laughs> this no, no, no. is called content. God damn it! <laughs> I'm just like picking stuff out of the. The, like a pile of clothes like okay but would you prefer the the pearl like trousers or would you prefer the cream colored trousers sir and i'm just like green standing green tunic the white trousers and the big brown blankets what are you doing just give him something i, I should give him options we, have... we should give him options okay. i don't know it's important to feel Heard! Especially since he's been a pig all of this time. For the love of 
no. And I just okay, okay. I appreciate you trying to compensate for all the all the things we put in for. Okay? Yes, in the <laughs> only way I can, which is fashion advice. <laughs> <laughs> There is oh. heavy drinking going on in the Dwarven camp. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just I bring I a bundle of clothes and I just like I do I do this I just I look a, look away so, like just trying to find him I might accidentally slap someone because I'm like hey take take it closer just where are you? <laughs> he grabs them from from you you feel and uh, sort of throws the blanket over his shoulders as he pulls his pants up and then. Uh, quickly pulls up a large tunic and uh, holds them up with his hand and mutters something about something, belt something, and then just sort of huddles in his uh, clothes. It's and fine, the crown jewels are hidden now. Ah, thank you, thank you. I, I Can right. I tie him up? Oh, it's the skill of tying people up. Uh, you can tie him up. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's called BDSM. You can make... <laughs> <laughs> do you have the BDSM skill? I do oh, believe yeah. it's called I Shibari. I am a master! <laughs> ah, wonderful. Uh, you can also roll uh, either um, seafaring, or um, you can roll... Um, what's it called? It's called the sleight of hand. Yeah. Well, don't you uh, have a Shibari chick? You could oh, roll oh. sword and just kill him. I mean, like... So does anybody know a lot about knots? I mean, I've been tying tent knots, but that's the. Does anybody know anything about the uh, tying uh, knots? Not you, Hannibal. No. Uh, it's no. <laughs> Hannibal is uh, saying something. No, I don't well, uh, I do know a thing or two about locks, and I have pretty deft hands. Well, if you know stuff about hunting and yes, fishing. Yes, please do. Uh, well, well, Jenna is used to be yeah. in the outskirts and doing stuff. Well, that I, is true, I'm... and I am getting drunk. This is good. Okay, Jenna, just uh, make a couple of um, quick knots to make sure he does not kill us, or uh, try, try running away. Yes. I mean, running away would be quite fun, yes? The desert would kill you, no? Okay. Yeah. Just make sure he does not kill us in our sleep, please. Yes, I tie him up with the beautiful, whatever it's called in English, Vendotta. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea if that's good for tying, you know, people, but it's good for tying stuff. Yes, you do a good work of tying up. I would like you to roll uh, hunting and fishing, I guess, you would roll in your case. Or do you want to roll uh, sleight of hand or seafaring? I don't think you have seafaring, so I would say... Isn't seafaring. your appendix to rules where... Uh... What knots belongs to what category category of skills? Ooh, yeah. One hundred. <laughs> I think she knows how to tie up a, a, a cord animal. This mm. is just a bigger. Okay, so everybody this now knows that Vandotta is part of uh, uh, hunting and gathering, hunting and fishing. A double five, yes. Ooh. Oh, look at that. And while while Jen is doing that, Andreas is uh, saying, "I believe in tea. Being tied up by drunk dwarfs sounds like a good time." <laughs> oh no 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 no! no. Beginning of a no. good time. <laughs> Andreas, you get a time out. Merix agrees. Yes. <laughs> and it's not That's even you... seven p.m. yet. True. That's what you get for drinking, kids. <laughs> good times with dwarfs. I so, mean, <laughs> I think that's what you get if you pay. <laughs> oh, good. This is what have I begun? This is, this <laughs> what have I started? Worse and worse. Oh, gosh. So, you've tied him up. Yeah. Yes, and, we got, and now we're also going to tie like... him to a bed. Yeah, all oh, right. So, you tie him to a bed. Wonderful. Is there anything yes, else you and want to The dwarf accomplish? is not invol involved in this. I just want to make that clear to everyone, okay? <laughs> no, I'm not the dwarf. I'm tying him up. This is good. <laughs> oh, there is not jokes in the chat now. Tie me out. I did not mean it. <laughs> it <was funny>. Oh. <laughs> Great. Oh, we are going inside and sleeping, right? That is what we're doing. Yes, but not with him. This is not why we're tying. Okay, sorry. I shouldn't stop. That. <laughs> All right. Where do you tie him up? Then where do you go? Should, should we start another fire in the tent? Never mind too much. 
stuff. Well, like. Yeah, just well, uh, on a bed. I, we put him on the bed and tie him to like the legs. Uh, I guess. <laughs> the dead dude in. No, we don't have the dead dude in the corner anymore. Never mind. It was the goblin. Yep. No, we have the. <laughs> oh shit! The there are not enough beds. <laughs> Everyone who's dead is buried. <laughs> So, uh, remember, don't die! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I... How does just... it look like Bush is doing in his punched out sleep? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so that makes uh, that... Uh, okay, uh, the goblin sleeps on the floor, and uh, I'm stuck in the, the table. Goblin is already oh, asleep. <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna push him onto the floor. Okay, he <laughs> falls down on, on the blankets on the and floor. Perhaps not push him, but uh, oh yes, uh, something Gently like that. Gently lift him and, and then we oh shit, it's a camel incident. Well, that's good. His body. Uh, but then we also have uh, somebody keeping watch because there are not enough beds. Hmm. Well, okay, I was that means not rock, in paper, the scissors. All right. Uh. So, oh, how many watch? I, I don't need a bed. I think they are over excited. Yeah, we also probably have a bed in the in the smaller tent, right? Oh yeah, this makes sense. If it's not too cold, this is usually cold, yes. It is very. Never mind. Very... I'm being too thorough. <laughs> you are planning this out great, Steve. Yes. Great. Thank you. <laughs> You're planning this out. Loud. Planning, you need that. Planning, you have, yes. You get that one. Yeah. Okay, and we're gonna execute this choice by doing rock, paper, scissors, and then after that, the one who wins five times, not four times, five... Okay, <laughs> just, um, I'm, I'm gonna stop now. Yeah. I choose rock. <laughs> I choose rock, okay. Ah, shit. Hey, I get to go first. Okay. Are you it's around now that uh, the whole party realizes how extremely tired they are being, <laughs> having been awake for... Over 24, 25 hours approximately, and um, also been going through a lot of weird things. Yeah, Don't worry, I'm an old dwarf. I can sustain myself for days on tobacco, alcohol, and spite. <laughs> that is what the moonborn elves call like moon crazed after five five days without sleep and people. Start hallucinating and stuff. <laughs> Wait, are you saying this is all a hallucination? <laughs> Please make it so. Okay, I guess we're all in the tent and sleeping in some way. Except Victoria. <laughs> That's progress. I'm stuck outside because you smell. No, I'm stuck. Well, That's now I'm stuck in cutscene mode, so I can't physically yeah. move, but I would like to think that she's a proper lady and she would probably take a bed. Yeah. And she will grumble if she does not get a bed. Yeah. She would sleep on the table, we just... No. Okay. We'll grab first to make it more fancy. <laughs> I'll find a way. Cutscene mode. Let's head in uh, to... Speaking of... Hallucinations. Uh, Burke, the last thing you remember was standing over Dram in his little bed. And then suddenly it felt like the weight of a mountain hit you in the back of your head and everything went black. You suddenly wake up in the middle of a desert surrounded by a few trees. You don't really know where or when you are don't really remember how you got there but it doesn't seem like a friendly place okay okay uh, is it cold you can't feel any temperature at all it doesn't feel uh, warm it doesn't feel cold am I hungry all you can feel the only sensation you have is the sand underneath your feet. So what do you see? Trees? Is this water? It seems to be some sort of mud. 
He said, don't Some go in movement. the mud. As you walk through the sand, your feet suddenly get heavier, your steps get harder. It feels like the sand is grabbing you. I start running. As you start running, it gets heavier and heavier until you get stopped. You can't move any further. The sand is sort of reaching up over your feet, solidifying to stone. Then more sand comes cr sort of running up like water up towards your legs and it crystallizes into stone and more sand comes up over your legs. Your knees are now covered and you can't move as you're trapped in this sandstone forming around you. Okay. Is my uh, arms free? Your arms are still free. Start punching it. Start punching the sand and the sand breaks and all of a sudden your hands are covered in sand and the sand solidifies and more sand keeps blowing. You see a sandstorm coming towards you in the distance. What can I do? You don't know. The sand is know. building higher and higher around you. You seem to be buried in the desert as it slowly grows higher and higher. Soon your whole body is covered. All that is left is your face. And soon your face is covered and all you can feel is the sand solidifying as rocks around you. All of a sudden, you feel like you're trapped inside a mountain. You can feel the whole mountain around you. You are no longer in the desert. You are in a mountain chain. You are the mountain chain. You are trapped inside the mountain. GM, uh, are we supposed to see something in Tailspire? Uh, Maybe. We Maybe. Okay, oh, sorry. <laughs> we only see the we tent. Only see sorry. tent. Oh, well, let's go back yeah. to cutscene mode and see if we can do it. Oh, well, this is cutscene mode. That. <laughs> well, well, he is buried in awesome sand. Awesome storytelling. I mean, that was great. I was so captivated. Yeah, me too. I, I just want to make yeah. uh, it. That's not cool important. Whatever you see in Tailspire, because we are uh, explaining what is happening to Burke. Yeah. The dream. <laughs> Death. So you are the mountain. I am. All around you is rock. You are stone captured in stone. You can't breathe, you can't see, you can't hear. I can do anything, right? Have you tried? No, I, w I wanna try something. <laughs> try confessing your sins. Andreas is writing, I for one seeing my Mount Berg in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Can I talk? Have you tried? Hello. The uh, mountain uh, uh, does uh, uh, not speak. <laughs> oh, it's a voice okay. responding. Like an echo echoing through the chambers of a long forgotten mine inside the mountain. Who are you? Where am I? Why am I here? A mountain does not ask questions. What does a mountain do then? A mountain is the foundation that all is built upon. So what should I do? Be the mountain. How? How? <laughs> I made your people to be yeah. proud, to be make me proud. I made you to be like the mountains are to creation. Hi, Turon. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like you're just like you just the child got caught by its dad. He was like, "Hi, yeah. dad." <laughs> Hello, God. So annoying. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Turon? Don't mind me just uh, getting some secondhand pride over here. <coughs> <laughs> so, what what do you want me to learn from this? The mountain is the foundation that the world rests upon. 
the world cannot rest upon imbalance and chaos. Be the mountain. Be the mountain. You still cannot move. I still cannot move. You still move. cannot see, you still cannot hear. I don't know what to do. You are the mountain. I am the mountain. Have you I tried crumbling? The, <laughs> I am the foundation. I am the mountain. Hmm. Does he have caves? <laughs> I, w- I want to start crying. <laughs> mm. As you cry, yeah. it feels like you can feel cracks where water is running through, like the rain falling upon a mountain, finding small cracks and making small, small rivers inside the mountain, forming bigger and bigger cracks that the water can move through. So do I have a little bit more space now? Can I try to struggle? You can try to struggle. Yeah. And you can feel how you sort of manifest inside a burk body again. You're struggling, you're stuck inside the mountain, you're trying to get out, you're caught, you're trying to shake, but you are stuck in these chains made of sand and stone as you struggle. You are Burke and you're trapped inside a mountain. Do you want me to roll or something? What do you want to roll? That? I don't know. Wait. You can roll anything you like. <sighs> you are Burke. And you are trapped inside a mountain. I'm trapped inside a mountain. Hmm. I, don't know I would like idea. to panic. Just think of this as an acid trip. You just need <laughs> to uh, power through it well, and learn experience. If you're stuck as a bird, what would the bird do? Be the mountain. Yeah. Be the mountain. Exactly. Role playing. Try to punch him. Way out. <laughs> Do you try to punch your way out? Ooh, okay, yeah. Okay. All right. I want you to roll. Uh, what do you usually do? Unarmed with your stone crushers? Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you roll that. I'm just gonna put in an ID here. WWBD. What would Burke do? T-shirts. <laughs> okay, I can't roll. I don't get. He the would dice punch the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are in Katsi, yeah. Oh, you want to roll in? Oh, sorry. There you go. What sizes of the... This one, right? Uh, I'm just gonna pop in here while you are doing that. And just, uh, Jenna, your sound is kind of, like, low. Okay, I can hear that you're talking, but not what you're saying. Oh. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. One. I heard that. <laughs> well, that sucks. Because... <laughs> Because I've been hearing it every now and then, and I'm like, wait, 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 what's that? Hmm. Yeah. So gotta um, Burke, announce go it like crazy. Roll. I did, and I got 21. 21. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Burke inside the mountain sort of try to shift, shift his body using his enormous arm strength. You can feel the stone turning to sand around your hands. And you can sort of do the, the one inch punch thing <laughs> as you break through a small portion of the mountain. And it feels like you're punching, making just a small, small crack, punching again, coming a few, few millimeters per for each punch. You're punching your way through the mountain. It feels like you punch your way through the mountain for an eternity as you slowly, slowly make your way out and find yourself in a large ocean of sand a sand made by the crumbles of the mountain you've just punched into smithereens 
You stand alone in the desert once more, surrounded by the remains of the mountain, and you can only hear a faint whisper coming from underneath your feet. The mountain is the foundation that the world is built upon. This was not the lesson you were supposed to take away from this. <laughs> We also got in the chat. Oh snap! Burke is the bride from Kill Bill. <laughs> <laughs> One inch punching his way to freedom. <laughs> that was fucked up, guys. <laughs> We're back in the camp. People are uh, going to sleep. We have okay. Tyr and uh, Victoria by the fire still. I'm doing some online shopping. I mean, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying work at clothes. I'm just, okay. I'm just asking if you're gonna stay by the fire all night or if you're going to sleep. Oh yeah, I can move now. No, I'm definitely. I'm moving. <laughs> I'm moving inside. Unless, uh, but I, I'm open for talking. If, uh, if you want to talk. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. If you need to talk. I'm here for I'm you. I'm here buddy. for you. So <laughs> emotionally support. Okay. I think the roles should be reversed on that, but thank you. No, I'm uh, I'm just taking watch, uh, I... trying to stave off sleep. Okay, well I'm gonna head to bed. Sweet dreams. I bid I bid you good night, sir. I will be sleeping next to our comrades. I, uh, oh yes, is it, is good luck to me. It's the uh, goblin's old bed, or the bed between Stig and uh, Hannibal? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. This one. It, it, it is a, it's a... It's a very pointed... Like, this is a statement. This is a statement bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping next to our prisoner. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm? Alright, Amnesty. Also because, <laughs> also because the camel's breathing down my back. I'm worried it's gonna lick me in the middle of the night. Probably the goblin could do that, yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, something might happen, but it might not be the camel. Yeah. You know the cow lick? Yeah. The cow lick hair? <laughs> Hairstyle? <laughs> like that, but the goblin lick instead. Yeah. Get rid of it. All right. Uh, with all of you inside the tent, also together with a goat and a camel, the uh, the heat actually rises kind of quickly with all the uh, bodies in there. And uh, the Antorian telts are well built, they don't leak very much, so after a while, uh, with all the blankets and things, it reaches kind of a comfortable temperature and some of you are able to get a good night's sleep. Stieg, as you lie awake, slowly feeling the exhaustion uh, taking over you and your eyelids getting very, very heavy. You can s sort of hear your own heartbeat uh, as it slows and how it sort of pulses, almost like uh, rushing waves for your body, spreading heat, uh, lulling you into a calm sleep as you feel your heart beats. You suddenly feel like you're floating in an ocean. Like the heartbeats is actually the waves throwing you around. Feels like you're in an ocean far away from here. And not only... Shit, I promised the sea god is something, right? But also <laughs> in time. You... Uh, Look around you and find yourself on a vessel, lying in a cot. Around you you see other people swinging in uh, their own sort of hammocks on board a large vessel. You can hear the creaking of planks and the mast as it groans in the wind. You can hear someone screaming orders in a tongue that sounds familiar. It is Anturian, but it does not really feel like the Antorian tongue you grew up with. It seems older. 
You hear a whistle. I'm getting out of the cot. Oh, sorry. You get out of the cot, Still of course. Me. You hear the whistle and sort of by reflex, you're standing there. You see the people around you running up on deck. Yeah, I followed them. Was it this? Hello? You're blinded. you're blinded by the sun as you come up on deck and you see around you a, a roaring sea. And in the far, far north, you don't know how you know it's north, but it is. You see a familiar shore. The shores of Anturin. Oh, no, it's Anturin. We're here. The sailors around you look happy to see land. They look happy uh, to be going to their new home. A land they can call their own. This is all Am I watching of. the first Anturian settlers? Perhaps. This is what you dream of for the whole night. Sailing your ships towards a new shore. Settling Anturia. Settlers of Castanuri. Okay. Jenna, you also feel something happening as you slowly fall asleep, surrounded by the warm fur of a camel and resting next to a furrier, even furrier goat. The smells of the animals feel familiar and the, they feel your senses as you slowly, slowly drift away. But then the smells change. The sand underneath you changes. Everything feels less corporeal, almost like the ground isn't really there, like it's trying to manifest itself, but it isn't really able to. You look to where Popple was, and instead of a camel, there is some sort of shadowy creature, misshapen and trying to find its shape, but it really can't. All you can see is, it, is its burning eyes. You look around you, you're no longer in a tent, but in some sort of dark void. Trying to be a desert. I turn to the, to the shadow creature. Does it have like human eyes like the other ones? It does not. Its eyes just seem to glimmer like stars, burning stars. Huh. Well, I turn towards it and I ask it, Who are you? I am only what I have created to be. I have not taken any names. I have not taken any shape. Oh, so you're like a newborn? Born? And and a new. a new formed? I am new. Yes, I am new. Who are you? Hello. I'm Jenna. I'm usually your friend. Hello, usually friend Jenna. <laughs> so where are we? We are here? Here? Have you ever been anywhere else but here? This is here. This is it. This is all I know. Do but you the others, know? the others speak of the other place. The others yeah. that have taken shapes almost like yours that have hands yeah. like yours, or eyes like yours, or hair like yours. They yes, speak of the other them. place. I think I've been to this other place too. Um, but I really don't understand wh what, what we are doing here in this void. We are created. We are here because this is where we were created. This is our home. Home. Oh. That's what they home. call it. Home. Ah. And you wanna get... But this isn't the home you want to go to. I am here. I am where I'm supposed to be. 
I am new. No. Yes, you are very new. This is this is news home. Yes. Hmm. Well, do you like it here? Ah, small talk. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> um, like. Do you like green tea or black tea? <laughs> oh, long tea, perhaps. <laughs> I prefer rooibos. I like this word. Like. It means like. There are many things I would like. I hope to like everything. Yeah. You seem very nice. Would I would you call you. Murder? Mm. <laughs> I am new. Pitch? Oh, no. No, 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 no. That, that's a bad name. No, 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 no. Pitch darkness. Yeah. Haven't you seen the Guardians? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the thing. You're making the Boogeyman. <laughs> what? You're making what? Haven't the you seen the Guardians? Oh, the boogeyman. <laughs> Why That's does Jenna word. call only, new pitch? Only what no words are bad, only the way you use them make them bad. Why is that so endearing? <laughs> the creature uh, looks at Jenna and says, Why does Jenna call new pitch? Because you are a shadow, and shadows are, you know, the opposite of light, you know, they are darkness because there's no, no sunlight or uh, flame light on them, so it's dark. And when it's really dark, you call it pitch darkness. And I thought it just sounded cute. Cute. These are words of the other place. These are sunlight and brightness. They are. The others speak a lot of this other place. They Would want you, to go you, there. Do you want to go there? Perhaps, but this is New's home. New like it here, New home. Yeah. If you, if you started to want to go to the other place, is there anything special you have to do? The others, they take names. And they take hands, and they take eyes, so that they may walk in what you call light. Uh huh. How so do you do? So you must to take, take names. Someone? New doesn't know. Oh. Denora shows them, but New doesn't know the Den Denora. New hasn't met hmm. Denora. Where are all the others? Around. Here? Not here. Why aren't they here? I think they're with Denora. Ah, oh, do, you, do you know where she is? I can show you. You can? Come! That would be... Yes! And uh, new sort of hovers up and floats uh -huh. away into the dark abyss. Okay, I just imagine that I can do the same. Maybe the dream world will allow me. And uh, you try to sort of float away and wake up feeling a camel sort of pushing you down, giving you a groan. Oh. Oh. Okay. And then Popple sort of rearranges his body and lies down again. Uh-huh. As if nothing happened. Hmm. <laughs> I turn to Popple, I poke him in the ear. Like I I I, I drag at the tip of his ear. Mm -hmm. Popple? Did you? Did I was I doing was I doing anything? Best just sleep. Okay. No dreams. Very okay. No oh. dreams. And for those who doesn't mm. know, Popper speaks to Jenna. No, oh, to Jenna. I speak with Popper. <laughs> <laughs> I am <understand laughs> yeah. with special bond. <laughs> People going like, what is happened? 
Sphinx don't speak to Jenna. Jenna speaks with them. <laughs> okay, I just try to go to sleep, but I have this like weird feeling. The only one who's not asleep is a Tyr the Dwarf sitting by the fire, trying to uh, forget uh, by drinking. Mm. Old habits die hard. Yes. As uh, you feel the warmth of the fire, you feel a welcoming sort of relaxation coming over you. You feel like it's uh, sort of washing over you, the whole exhaustion thing. And as you sort of nod off, you sort of hear a voice saying, finally. And uh, the, that sort of startles you awake again. And you see your bottle. And you feel the tiredness coming over you. And the <laughs> voice comes again and says, Sleep. Yeah. And he nods off. That means yeah. I can steal your character for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> My character! Oh. oh, there we go. Should I follow? Uh, I think I can make maybe grab another shot. Here we go. See? Oh. You find yourself outside the Antorian tent in the middle of a desert. Mm. As you look around, you see that the tent is empty. Your friends are no longer there. Around you, you see just an endless desert surrounded by large pillars. Huh. Alright. Your bottle I... is no longer in your hand. Hey. Panic. Everybody panic. <laughs> I pull out the other. <laughs> Um, you fool! Uh, I have twenty. <laughs> At least, uh, I will keep looking around, scanning the horizon. You see a tree line of old, rotten, and dead trees in the distance. Beyond it, you see the shape of a mansion. Oh. Between the forest and the mansion, there seems to be a large gorge. And you see a small portal uh, in the middle of the tree line, a road leading up to it. And you see a shape forming in the portal. A shape of a woman. As she walks through the portal, she comes towards you. Oh. How do I feel? Tired, drunk. You feel Fine. nothing. You don't feel the wind. You, as you think of it, you can't feel the ground underneath you either. It's not hot. It's not cold. Right. Am I in a did <laughs> like? Do I feel uh, what do you say? Um, do I have all my faculties in order? Uh, well, you feel normal. Uh, all you can feel are your feelings. You can't feel your body, but you can. You know that your body is there. Yeah, but I can think normally. You can think normally, yes. Good. Okay, I am going to... Stand there. Uh, do I have my weapon? my morning star as you look into your hand your morning star is there right i will put it put its head down to the ground in front of me and like lean on the uh on the shaft just waiting for her to come closer i thought you would never fall asleep hmm. welcome I told you I would keep you company, 
Did I not? Perhaps hey. that slipped my mind. No. But you deserved uh... some sort of gift. Some sort of thank you for being one of those who released me. And as I asked you what you wanted, you seemed more interested in company than in gold. She stands next to you. Uh. Almost like uh, she's waiting for you to escort her. Take her hand and lead the way. The freakish. Oh boy. Well, uh. Oof. Well, good for you, Tyr. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey. Congratulations. You bagged a goddess. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know I would get a lady friend out of this. Uh, okay, um. Wait. Come along now. Well, I... There's much to learn. Okay, I will, uh, as best as I can, hold out my arm and, like, make a semi-fancy, like, arm hook or... <laughs> he walk so up into the sunset! <laughs> it's so cute. She, sort of, she, she sort of shrinks uh, to your size so that she can walk naturally next to you. Instead of being taller than you are, that she is normal. Ooh. Oh, don't look so surprised. Anything is possible in the dreaming. Right. Uh... I'm so happy for you, Tia. <laughs> As well, you come uh... up to the gorge, she stops you. Go in. Will I be learning more about this uh, dreaming? Perhaps. I think it's uh, only fair that I get to learn something from you. I did not get to taste your blood like I did the others. So, this mm. is my way of learning about you. Now, the northerner gave me some important information. Uh, then there's still much to unfold and unlock from his bloodline. I hope only he survives the ordeal. And then it is... The deviant one. Now her blood tasted very, very oddly. But you, I know better than to drink the blood of the of the mountain man's people. So I decided to join you in the dreaming instead. So that you could show me what I've been missing out on these thousands of years. Hey. Well, that's a lot to take in. I do appreciate you not drinking my blood. Oh, well, then I guess I'll uh, acquiesce to your request. What would you like to know? Let's start with what brought you to my chamber she looks down into the gorge and it's short sort of reshapes and reforms and through the shadows you can see lurking in the darkness is a familiar sight a large looming tree filled with dead bodies and in the tree standing a man with his hand inside the trunk oh shit Is this why you sought me out? Partially. I, uh... We sought you out to, uh... Well, we were trying to end a curse that is blighting the land. And we thought that your resting place could hold some keys to stop in this light. And we were correct. See. But you see the man in the by the tree pull his hand out and inside it is a dark crystal and she sort of gasps and says Is that one of the Stars? Aye, that it is. What constellation? 
Do I know that, GM? Uh, I think you would know that by now. I think Merrick has talked about the Seven Sisters when you were on the boat ride. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and... yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. Uh, the Seven Sisters, I believe. I see. Well, that makes sense. They did torch the desert, after all. Did I mean... they know? Well... Someone might have given them the idea. Ah. Someone I'm getting to know, perhaps. In due time. Hmm. Well... In all fairness, then, I should tell you that the reason we went into your particular resting chamber was to acquire some uh, equipment for a quest we are on. Uh, we are going into a dangerous territory to find a person that is heavily influenced by the curse that is ravaging the land. And, uh, I guess thanks to you, we got what we were looking for. Is that so? You did give us equipment that will surely come in use. That's good to hear. It would mm. be very bad if the world was cursed for my return. Hmm. Wouldn't it just? She sort of keeps walking up these floating stairs. We're in cinematic mode. Yep. Oh, uh, cinematic mode. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what's it? <laughs> Parkour. Yeah, I'm keeping pace. Do you know how I learned about the dreaming? It's no. actually, actually sort of uh, interesting that it would be the Seven Sisters that were the reason that brought you to me, for they were the reason I learned about the Dreaming. There was a particular sister named Onera who spent her time inside the world of Dreaming, learned all of its secrets and then spread those secrets to those worthy. Let's see what we have here. And she opens the gates and you walk in to a familiar courtyard. Yeah. Although yeah. a dead tree stands in the place where a beautiful lush tree bushel of lilacs once stood. Ah, uh, tear stops. Is something wrong? Maybe. The dreaming. Can it show you any visions of the future? Oh, no, that's not Onera. You're thinking of Asmara, her sister. So this I'm can seeing... only show you your subconscious. So I take it that this tree wasn't dead when you left? No. But you it... worry that it, or perhaps your family tree? Your legacy might be dead when you return? Mm, well, there is a lot to unpack there. Family tree, not so much. Legacy, possibly. Well, you mountain men have a small advantage over us mere humans when it comes to leaving your mark and living forever? Hmm. Did well... you know that the world sort of takes an imprint from your existence? The longer you exist, the deeper this sort of shadow that you leave, this mark that you leave on the world, the deeper it gets. 
So if you live as long as I have, or as long as you might, even if someone were to, say, kill you, the mark remains. And so you will remain as well. All right. What's a worrying comfort? Uh, well, let me just state that uh, from my experience, there is nothing mere about your humanity. Thank you. Mm. This is very empty. I once it was not. But alas, time passes. And I see that there's a gate in the fireplace. Does my dear character see that as well? As you see it, it opens, revealing stairs. Oh, however, that is very, very new. Let's see what we find in there, shall we? Uh, I dread to think. You can't come into a cave. A cave that seems somewhat familiar. Excuse me, I have to adjust some levels. There we are. Oh. Now this is a place that leaves its own mark on the world. Oh. And uh, you're saying it's connected to my mansion? I'm saying uh, it is connected to your mind and your subconscious. Oh, even worse. But perhaps I might have taken some uh, initiative. I am, of course, the one initiating this dream. Although it's your dreaming that we're experiencing. Uh -huh. Oh, crap. Now, some of the details are a bit blurry. I suppose you have been drinking? Just a wee bit to stay off the cold. Oh, that explains a bit. Now, <clears throat> I might not be able to escape my tomb, but at least I can still travel. Hey. And this is indeed a place to travel, so I've found out. He walks around the pillars, one by one, inspects them. I follow closely, looking at her and trying to figure out what she's looking at. She seems to be putting her hand against each pillar. Mm -hmm. And then she turns to you and says, you haven't traveled through all of them. No, we have been busy. Hmm. I would have to piece some together from my own mind then. As she walks over to the crumbled one. Ooh. And all of a sudden, Ooh. it is repaired. And she pushes her hand towards it. And she disappears. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, ah. Ah, I follow. Ah. As you touch the stone, you wake up with a cold sweat in an Anturian tent <laughs> in the middle of the Noxvar. Oh, no, sorry, not in the tent, by the fire in the Noxvar desert. Okay. The bottle of hard liquor lying in the sand next to you. Cutscene from... Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, I... Uh, and I am still in the other place. What? thought the cutscene worked, but it apparently did not. It's no. left click twice on your name. Left click there twice. There we go. There we go, indeed. Okay, well, ah, shit, ah, uh, 
<laughs> Is there anyone awake around me? <laughs> you can hear snoring from the tent, so you don't think so, no. Well, I don't pay attention to that at all, because I immediately throw the bottle as far as I can. And I am going to stick a finger, or put a finger on a burning coal. It burns. Good. Ouch. I pull out the finger. Oh. Um. Is Merrick's notebook or Victoria's notebook or anything, uh, any scribe equipment lying around? I will have to ask Victoria or Merrick about that. Oh, Merrick carefully put his stuff back in the bag to his bed where he slept. He is not leaving that open. Oh, plot convenience. I'm gonna go with sure. <laughs> Lovely. Well, there will be... Okay, uh, yeah. Tyr is going to, in a cold sweat, run to the book, find anything he can to write with, and just... Conveniently, some uh, ink and a quill next to... Lovely. She got well, distracted by a naked man, so she sort of forgot like, about ah! it. I mean, didn't we all? Um, okay, I am going to write down as much as I can possibly remember, with special emphasis on that Stieg might die from the process, and uh, the name of the sisters, and so note down that the, the name of the sister that taught the dreaming and the name of the other sister which I will equate with future and fortune telling yes uh, so you write down all that you write down the name Oneira uh, the dreamer and Esmara the foreteller yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh Okay, 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 okay. Then I am going to take a deep breath and look around. How much time seem to have passed? Uh, not much time at all. Uh, the logs in the fire that you put in before you dozed off haven't really burnt more than f maybe a few minutes. Right. Then... Right. Then I will take out my pipe and smoke and think by the fire. And continue my guard. Duty. Yeah. Your shift goes on, and the fear of falling asleep is what keeps you awake until uh, the first rays of light are visible above the mountains. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it rises in the Wait, ho hold on. I just want to take my shift. I don't want to be awake all night. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing I'm still exhausted. Yes. So yeah, the, before the uh, light shines above the um, from the east, the uh, sort of uh, ocean of the sea, or the sea of the sun. Sorry, hmm. sea of the sun. Uh, it's you feel it's time to relieve someone else uh, from their nightmares. Well, uh, I will go into the tent and climbing with Jenna waking up about that time. Ooh. Yeah, sure. All She's right, the one well. sli sleeping closest to the tent door as well, so... Okay, well, uh... I will... Swisher. I'll just be uh, starting to bend over and the being in... Uh, just about to start, like, tapping Jenna to wake her up when... She awakens me. When I was already awake and just stare <laughs> at you. 
Like, yeah. On them. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Uh, guard change. Would you like to take a shift? Sure. Right. <laughs> Uh, uh, have have fun. Do you think the uh, moose camel minds if I snuggle down? Nah, he's fine. Great. I'll remember to feed him some extra nice oats when we return. Then he'd be very happy. Lovely. Good night. Hey, uh, take care out there. It's cold. Mm-hmm. Take care in here, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird everywhere, but thank you. Night. Night. <laughs> Snuggle up. And I couldn't think of a better time to take a snack break. Mm-hmm. Hey! hey, hey. Good. Dream intensive. Dream <laughs> intensive. Make my phone look sharp. Fucking God! <laughs> Hank, what are you exposing us to? <laughs> ah! You're the ones who walked into the tomb. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, this is gonna, is it, is it gonna be sexy time? No, I don't. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna go fight some goblins. Okay, but shouldn't we get some better equipment? Yeah, you're right. I know. Let's go to the cursed tomb. <laughs> oh. Jesus. How long time will the snack break be? Do, we don't have a snack uh, break. We don't have a snack break recap this today. I forgot to send it to you yeah. uh, and edit it. Uh, so you'll have to wait for the next episode for a snack break recap. But you can always join us in the live chat on the side of your screen or side of your screen. Or you can uh, join us on our Discord. I will once again post the uh, server link in the chat so you can join us there and read the uh, Amazing uh, prophecy, if you haven't forgotten it already, or have. <laughs> and we will be back in like okay. ten minutes. Ten minutes, something like that. that. Okay. Yeah. Then I will yeah. see you yeah. guys. See you soon.
Hello and welcome back to the stream. What's up? What's up? What's up? The technical difficulties episode, everyone. Like all of us. We are here. We're all. Like we're all here, and <laughs> Nils is trying to be very still. Oh, fuck you, dude. We have a very, very <laughs> stiff stick. <laughs> and uh, back yes. into the story before we lose anyone. We, it's uh, now early morning in the Noxvar Desert. The sun is just rising from the. Uh, the of the sun in the east, uh, throwing its first warm and welcoming rays down onto the sand around you. And sitting by the almost uh, burnt out fire, we have Jenna. First to rise, the first to stay awake. Nothing uh, more interesting has been experienced, neither in the dreaming or in the real world, for any of you. And as the sun comes back, Jenna hears a sort of clinking noise from her pack. Okay. Did you just say cocaine? Oh, what, no. Clinking <laughs> noise. <laughs> <laughs> I hear. Oh, okay. The spice. I, can I see any, like, oh, I take my bow, of course. Can I see any sticks around? Yeah, take my bow. Yeah. And, like, Oh, oh, no, first I'm gonna ask the bag. Hello? What's up? <laughs> Who's in there? <laughs> no, you, you heard a faint metallic clink from the bag, but uh, no no other audible response. Okay, then I will take my bow and like poke it open. Yes. I don't trust uh, my bag. <laughs> <laughs> your bag. Your bag tips over, your kettle falls out, uh, and the lid falls off, and out of it runs sand and uh, this small metal contraption. Uh, this small electrum uh, cube with another cube, and it seems to be spinning again. Oh, shit. Um, Not very fast, um, but uh, enough to sort of make clinking noises as it hits its corners every now and then. I will, I will like, poke back into the kettle, and then I will go in and be awake too. <laughs> It's it's hard for it to fit inside the kettle as the kettle is now filled halfway up with sand. Oh, of course I pour out the sand first. All right. <laughs> it goes back into the kettle and the kettle goes. <laughs> what? What? Um. Um. The 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 the, the cube thing. It's. It's moving again. I don't know. Why is it moving? What? What cube? You know the 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 heart of the the search or yeah. no, the spinning. Oh, all oh, right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I I that whole whole long. I've had a weird night, and my throat feels like I've been drinking a desert. Ugh. What were you saying? The, the, the magic heart thing? Aye. It's, it's, it woke up. Oh, it's just one thing after the other. Oh, hold up. <sighs> Alright. Where, where is it? Here, and I hold out the, the kettle with the thing inside of it. Okay. I'm gonna uh, pick it up and inspect it. Yeah, right. uh, let's pick it up. It seems to have uh, started moving again, and uh, every now and then a few uh, grains of sand fall out of the the uh, sort of red ceramic ball in the middle. Right. Uh, <laughs> I uh, don't really know what to do with this right now. How did uh, it stop it moving last time? It stopped moving, you don't know really when, but it stopped making noises when you left the tomb and came out into the cold weather outside. That means she's out. Uh, shit. Um... Do you think you can keep holding on to this until we're done with this place and we return home? 
Because then I can do a thorough investigation. But right now, I I can look at it. I can poke it. But uh, I don't really know what I can do. I don't know if I, I could hold on to it. I feel my bag with sand, though. Huh. Maybe I should bring it on a string from my hip instead, and it can make sand trails behind us. Uh, wait, hold on. I might have something. Uh, hmm. What if we put it in the box that stops time? It's unfortunately too big for the box. Oh no. Hmm. Box. Too big. You no box. know. Okay, let's try this. Um, I'm going to walk up to uh, the nearest stick I can find and pick up a stick and jam it into the thing. Yes, it sort of rotates oh, yeah. and locks the sticks in place. What do we do with the arrow, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Then I'm gonna hold the stick and like hold up the thing and see if it like jams or if it breaks the stick or. Well, it does not break the stick, no. Uh, the uh, small red uh, levitating ball in the middle still spins slowly and every now and then a few grains of sand fall out. From, right. uh, from the ball? So the... From, the... from the ball. Yeah, the ball is perforated with holes. Yeah, you... So every now and then uh, as it tips over a few. Like oh, clock. right, so so the holes are not big enough to stick a stick into the hole. They're like, no. tiny. Okay, right, well... Then, that was pointless. Um, I wonder... Hold on, I have a small satchel. If I put it in there, and tied up real good, then we'll see either it will fill the satchel until it can't fill no more and then it will stop, or it will break the satchel. Why not just hang it in the string from your hip? <sighs> ah, we can do that. Would I'll you like to take it? Yeah, yeah, here you go. It's this time I actually held it in my hand. Right. Can I wake up? Uh, yeah, talk? whenever you want to. Okay, so now I wake up and I just wanted to check that Hannibal is still there and that the goblin is still there. The goblin is not there, he's outside. He just left the tent as you woke up. Did I see him? Uh... You, you saw his uh, weird little robe disappear around the by the oh. tent door as you woke up. You're up but, uh, goblin, stay where you are! Morning, Gobble. Morning. Gobble, Gobble. Not very cold morning. It is getting warm. It's it's hot pot. Uh, <coughs> pot hot. I'll make him into a hot pot. Very good. He takes his little stick and breaks the last of the ice uh, in the puddle and then sort of starts to drink in a very animalistic way out from the little puddle. But refresh. You better, better hydrate. <laughs> hydrate. <laughs> put put the hydro homie. Well, <laughs> thank you for that, oh great sage. <sighs> right, where is the nearest not polluted water? Polluted? <clears throat> water is good. Water is very good for goblins. Hey. Aren't you, like, used to bursting into flames if you get excited? Oh, but Pot Pot, very, very clever goblin. Pot Pot, maybe even cleverest goblin. Pot Pot, not go crazy. Pot Pot, not go flame flame. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Cleverest goblin doesn't really say much, yes? I mean, in comparison <laughs> to other uh, thinking animals, beings. Goblins, very, very more intelligent than animal beings. 
That's why Pot Pot Beastmaster. Uh, Beastmaster? But are you more intelligent than a swarm of bees? Ooh, bees? Beastmaster. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I wake up now, yelling. Yeah. From this dream. <laughs> I am the mountain, and you're sh shaking here, sweating. Oh crap. Oh, oh he's Oh up. my god. Oh no. crap. Oh, you're very crap. loud. Merry oh. quakes from that. Oh. oh shit. Oh my god. Oh god. Morning. Morning. Did you sleep well? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, oh shit, I'm so dry. Oh, start drinking from this polluted water. <laughs> <laughs> Told you water very good. Good for Ooh, so good. Oh crap. How Hello, is everyone? Martin. Hello, huh? Mountain. I am Potpot. Pot. Hello, Potpot. Pot. I am Mountain. No, I'm Burke. I'm Burke. Burke. No, Burke. And I shake his hand. Well, yes, I'm just in the fine. Long fingers. So, are you proud of yourself? Of what? Well, you made us murder a few people. No, no, I didn't. That could no, otherwise no. have helped us, you know? But guys, the I only mean, thing I... I remember was eating this black moss. I went into the tent to put this other guy to sleep. And then I don't remember anything. Then I wake up here. I had this weird dream also. Oh, well, weird dreams, did you? No dream about, like, remorse or the consequences of one's action? No, I... I was punching myself out from a mountain. Oh, you did perhaps dream one. about uh, settling a new strange land? Or no. settling your homeland? No? Okay. okay. Uh, I, I, I went to a desert and the sand like ate me. And then I was, I was in a mountain. I was too. What in the void? But Does anyone else have... Has anyone else had strange dreams tonight? Yes, yes. Pot Pot dreamt of ponies. And Pot Pot doesn't know what a pony is. How, did it how do you know you dreamt of them? I, it was a dream. I knew they were ponies. Because they were eating... They were eating... Like, cooked meat. That's not a um, pony, dude. Did were they chicken? big and... S well, right. Were they big and scaly with wings and breathing fire? Ponies don't have wings, but yes. Ah, then those were dragons. Oh, pony dragons. <laughs> yeah, was it small dragons? But I mean, small ponies were it small. You know what? I don't need this right now. I need breakfast. Dronies or dragons? Okay, breakfast time. Okay, but, no. Perhaps everybody, we should gather around and uh, try to start planning the assault on the Red Mountain. I mean, uh, uh, how to get into the Red Mountain and make Pot Pot the king of the Red Mountain, yes? Was that the plan? I oh, approve fully of that. However, breakfast first. This is the moment where I cut in, because I feel like Victoria has been like stuffing her ears with cotton. She's wearing like an eye mask <laughs> with her like hair in a in a bun, just like beauty sleep. Still not up. Is Pot Pot like <laughs> a wizard? Does he know magic? Did you ask him about that? No, 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 no. Trying to figure okay, it out. I, I, it's I'm a goblin with a stick and a weird robe. Yeah, I'm pulling my arm up and showing the tattoo. And ask mm -hmm. if he knows anything about this. Have you seen this before? Yesterday, you were punching, I saw the glimmer. The mountain, right? I know. I saw what? tattoo. Yeah, but what did I punch? The you mountain, right? No, you were punching like that guy up there, falling I down. See, I don't see anyone. I, okay, I guys, can someone anyone. tell me what happened yesterday? Stig, Tid, sleeping. Uh, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll so tell you, you all you do not about remember what happened yesterday. No. I don't think I remember eating this black stuff I did with the other guy. I went into the, the ones, tent. The one you tried giving to Marek when he said, Oh, I don't want your poison? Yeah, but it was kind of, No, it wasn't poison. It was still good for you, right? 
Merrick? Uh, this is like not what Merrick said. Merrick kind of looks at Burke and goes, uh, I wouldn't call it poison, but I wouldn't call it. But you did, yes? Good. In the well, tube. Yeah. It... When you were electrocuted, you called it poison. Yeah. It, yeah. But, yeah. But you don't die of it. So you have no memory of yesterday, Burke? No. Just for context, was the the black moss thing, was that like before he went on a murder spree or after? Before. That was before. Before, yeah. before. interesting. The story kind of makes sense, which is the genius. Yeah, yeah. Which is <laughs> Jeno is just the genius. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am going to tap our dear Victoria. Rise and shine, princess. The sun but, but, is up and it's a beautiful day. What? What? Breakfast is served. Your breakfast, lovely. Is it warm? Have you no. Is there coffee? Is there tea? No, no. Are there biscuits? What type of no. biscuits? Please tell me there's biscuits. <laughs> Have you ever heard of heart attack? It's kind of like a biscuit, except it's not like a biscuit. Hundred percent sugar. <laughs> no, no, no. Um. Uh, so, um. There's still cheese left. Yeah. Frozen cheese. Ooh, yeah, it's good. Oh, oh, oh. Well, basically, you have bowel busting bread, some good cheese, a splash of wine, and water. And those weird fruits that nobody tasted. Yeah. What? I, I, I don't mention How those. <laughs> Give it to Pot Pot. Well, I like want to just hit all the macros necessary. If one. Well, uh, yeah. Wins. Well, I, I want to show in while you uh, get out of bed. I just tried to like tame the hair. I just I d you, you go you go on. I will just be a minute braiding this thing and then I will be outside enjoying the myocardial infarction that you just said. Splendid. Well, take your time. We're not going anywhere in a while. The tied up man next to her says, "I'd have some breakfast." Right, would you like some hard... Warm. Yeah. Right, would you like some cold heart attack or some boiled warm heart attack? I'll give it warm. Right. I bring one of the fruits to him. Is this That's eatable? Good. Can I eat it? What is it? Looks like a pineapple to me. <gasps> is that What's the weird that? fruit? Can I eat it? It looks really weird though. Like I would probably not eat the outer part, but uh, the inside should be okay. Okay, take my knife, start carving it. What? What's happened? Nice. What's happened? My bald guy, I gave. Uh, he got the gold scale in his hand. And uh, no, that was uh, the captain or the acting captain. Yeah, he's buried. He's dead, right? Sure. Yeah, he's buried a few yards away. Okay. Uh, he's asking. Uh, okay, I, I want to show my arm to Merrick. Yeah. The, uh, and ask him, can you do your voodoo stuff on this and see what it is? Uh, I look back at Bert and goes, I don't do voodoo. I... You know what I mean. Uh, well, I... Let me examine it. So, yes? I, I want to kind of try to see if I can examine it in some way. GM, should I... I don't know. Push, push well... You know where it comes from. Yeah. Um, I... You know it's probably magical. Yeah. I have a little bit in theology. Should I? What theology? I... Yeah. Magical. You? I have a theoretic magic. <laughs> Do it. I roll. I am... I'm rolling theatrical magic. In game. In game. In game. In game. Theatrical I... magic. <laughs> theatrical magic. <laughs> theoretical. Uh, let's see. Daddy. Fifteen? It's nineteen! Nineteen? Uh, you have myths and legends as well, right? Uh, do, 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 do. Or legends or something? Yeah, legends. Yeah, yeah. I have a yeah. lot of legends. I have five. Yes. So I would say with that result, you don't know how uh, Tefi made this snake crawl up on his arm and become a tattoo. 
but uh, you have heard of golden curses and stories of people who have been gifted gold and then been uh, sort of, you know, these moral stories of people being corrupted, like uh, the Midas touch, like everything yeah. you touch turns to gold. Uh, you've heard of curses like this in legends, and uh, mm. you've heard theor like people theorizing of how those legends would have worked or how they could have been made magically. Yeah. Uh, all of those theories are different and nobody has really figured out how to do it. But in the end, these spells that involve gold usually end up badly for the one who's been blessed. Yeah. Gilded. Back in Mira's story, he, he touched his face, right? And it turns to gold. Oh, he, everything he touches his daughter. turns to gold. He touches his daughter. Mother, his wife. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't he start to death? Not in any freak way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So down. you know nothing. I'm gonna die. No. Okay, so this I kind of tell, like, I kind of summarize what, what the genius told us uh, about the, the curse. So, my, I, I, Merrick ends with, so if I was you, I would kind of be thoughtful about using it, because you don't know what will come out of it in the end. And make sure if you see it start growing, or kind of like that, uh, has it grown? I don't know. No, it's not. No, okay, okay. Because I told you yesterday, right? Yeah. With the scale. Yeah. 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 And then I tried it on you, and it didn't, it didn't work. work. No. Yeah. Uh, but I find it fascinating. So Merrick kind of brings out his. First of all, is there any books in the camp? Yeah. Uh sent you a list in the Tinkerer's Mind on Discord of uh, the uh, loot, but yeah, there is a book inside one of the tents. If uh, you found uh, a few journals yeah. and uh, things like that. I kind of um, bring all the journals and books I can find and I start fast passing through, like trying to find some interesting information. And I also, when, after I've talked to Burke, I kind of scribble down my thoughts about the, the snake and I kind of make a drawing out of it. Uh, and I make a note how much, what I think percentual, how much of his body it takes right now. So if it's the yeah. arm, like left arm, 50%. Yeah. So, as you walk around the camp, collecting, uh, l looking for books, you find a few journals, you find a book written in Anturian. Do you read Anturian? I think so, no. right? No. You no. don't? And no. only Syrian and Elish. Okay, yeah, so all of them are written in Anturian, but you see one book that is in a journal, it's actually, like, okay. this seems to be a, have been an official copy of something. And then you walk past uh, the bench uh, on the other side of the fire, you see a book lying open with the pen and an open ink bottle next to it. And somebody has scribbled down things about Esmara the Oracle and Oneira the Dreamer and something about uh, Steg dying. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I, uh, first of all, all the, all the journals that I find that is in Anturian. Uh, yep. How many? I mean, a tear can read on Turian, right? Yeah. Can he only speak? Give me a... I think he can read it too. Let's check. Can tear uh, read? It? Can I don't think so. I no. I, I can don't speak. <laughs> no. But Tyrion, Tyrion. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I can only speak it. Cannot read it. I cannot read it. No. Okay. Uh, we only have two people who can read Anturian in this camp. Okay, two people though. We're both like, who did? H Han <laughs> and they're both. Hannibal. 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 Who those people are? Oh wait, Hannibal could probably read too. Three of them. Uh, yeah, oh wait, I can oh. read it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh wait, can I? So I think so. Yeah, I can read like I can read I can read Mokra, which is like in brackets. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, Mokra is Mokra is actually the name of the Anturian language. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I was like, or, what if it's a specific dialect? Yeah, so, it's it's a specific dialect, but it's the the main dialect. So is we, it a hillbilly dialect? No, it's the uh, Riksvenska of Anturian. Who no. sent is this? There, is is no hillbilly. there are no hillbillies in Anturian. Okay, so what I do is that I collect all the all the journals that it in. Antarian, I go into the uh, tent where uh, Victoria and 
and the theories and I kind of put the journals on the table and then I kind of tell Tyr, uh, do you know how to read uh, Anturin? Uh, no, I know a few words, but... Uh, well, that is not no. I have to, I have to ask Steer. Uh, the <laughs> tied up Anturian says, are you reading our journals now as well, you beast? Uh, and, uh, and, and yeah, so I am ignoring him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> he has an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. <laughs> okay, so, uh, do I kind of notice Victoria is going like... And I'm going she's, like... She's, do you, she's fixing do you... her hair, but yeah, she's <laughs> also you... raising her hair. You... Oh yeah, my hair's like tangled. <laughs> yes, hi, hi. <laughs> so I, I turn to Victoria and goes like, do, do you read Ontario? Oh yes, I do. Oh, I do well. indeed. Uh, I'm quite proficient in it, in oh, fact. Well, of course you are. Okay, good, <clears> my lady. So I will uh, put these books here. Try and see what you can find out. Could be good to know. Uh, and I just leave, leave the tent. Uh, what? So while Merrick is doing that, I want to question Pot Pot. Question Pot Pot well, is... Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, uh... oh yeah. So, uh, right now, I have a few questions about uh, the best way to enter the Red Mountain Unseen. Is this possible? Well, everything is possible. Uh, but you uh, should probably be careful. Maybe go midday when they not use Big Eye on the top. Ooh. What was the name? What? Pig oh, Eye? The big Eye. Big, big, big Eye. Big. Yeah, it gets blinded when it's full sun. You don't use Big uh -huh. Eye during the day. It Only use so, Lord so of the it's a hole on the top of the mountain, yes? No, it, it is it is construction on top of a mountain. It's Sauron's eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it I was see, gifted to us. Gifted by Sami. <clears throat> Sami? Sami. Sami. This does not make sense either. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Okay, so this is where we should enter from. How do we get on top of the mountain? Can we climb there or...? Are the walls very steep? No, no. I don't think you should enter from top of mountain. You should go through the bottom and then climb up. Just, uh -huh. just go by the midday. If you don't want to get seen, you don't go when they use big eye. Okay. Okay. Now I understand. Okay. So is there a way to enter the bottom of the mountain without being seen midday? Well, that depends on when. If you go midday tomorrow, because tomorrow is hunting day, most of ships will be gone, and you could go in through the harbor. Or okay. you could go through tunnels, mm -hmm. and then you can go in midday, then go through tunnels, hiding tunnels until, until tomorrow, and then tomorrow, then the big hunt goes, there's less goblins. Or you can go through front gate. Pot Pot, are you allowed there? I would not, I'm not allowed while Big Brain rules. Big Brain cast me out. Who's Big uh -huh. Brain? Big Brain! King Big... King Brain! King Brain. So, uh, okay, name? so uh, we have two missions. We have to find uh, the captives of the Red Mountain. We want to go there where the captives are. And then perhaps also to help you get back into the mountain, we can kill uh, a Big Brain for you. Yeah. Because if Big Brain dead, I can go to Mountain too. Mm -hmm. So you will help us with this? First, we find the prisoners, and then we find Big Brain. I Does can show Big you Brain mountain, go or out I can with show the you hunt, hunting party? Big Brain stays in mountain while hunting day. Okay, okay. Is Does he have any prisoners? guards left there with him? Are there several prisoners? Uh, perhaps. I... We think perhaps an Anturian captain, and perhaps a witch uh, who we are after. She's very evil. Who's this well, witch? Yes, we wanted that too. He's given us a few names, but I'm not sure any one of them are, are true. Well, maybe I mean, comparing to other witches we've met this far, I wouldn't call her very evil. I just call, I would just say, she has been personally evil. Ah, I see. But yes. Well, Sammy Five Fingers is also a witch. Maybe she knows. What? You can ask Sammy Five Fingers, the one who, who gives the big eye. Uh huh. Where is, is Sammy? This a person? Yes, is this Sammy a goblin? 
No, Sammy not goblin. So, uh, Sammy like you. Okay, he's human. Yes, Sammy. Is human. he also in the Red Mountain, or is he somewhere else? Uh, well, she came to desert a few days ago, and so uh, Mary kind of interrupts him. Sammy, Sammy. Like, no, Merrick is gathering books. Merrick is not part of this conversation. He's gathering books in the camp. I oh, you mean Samara? <laughs> Sammy, 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 five fingers. She friend of goblin. Many goblin work for her. Okay, She's yes, because she only has five fingers on the one hand. Why don't you call her Sammy one hand? Well, she was Sammy two hands. I didn't call her Sammy two hands. Now she is only Sammy one hand. Why should I call her Sammy? Okay, one yes, yes. Okay, I see what you mean. But she witch. She might be able to find your witch. Okay, this is perfect. So, was it Sammy who threw you out? Is Sammy with the big brain? Yes, I told you, Sammy, good friend of goblins. She guessed the big brain now. Okay, I see. I see, she guessed the big brain. Okay. So we get Sammy and we get big brain and we take them out in one fell swoop. So this is perfect. Oh, good. Can you, and you can get us there without encountering too many other goblins, yes? I can show you way. I cannot go near. Big brain will kill me. But we protect you. You protect against all cousins, all sisters, brothers. We all protect you from cousins, brothers, and sisters. You're with us now. Wasn't he mountain before? Isn't he a little strange in head? Is he protecting? Well, uh, yes, of course. He's very trustworthy. I guess he's at least as trustworthy as you are. Okay. Well. Things didn't go well for me last time in Red Mountain. But if you protect me, I can go a little further. I can even show you harbor or main gate or cave. I do not know how to show you how to get to top unless you go through mountain. Okay, okay I, I, I put it like 50 silvers in my hand. No, that's a lot, right? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's, a lot. that's a lot. So how about <laughs> nine maybe in my hand? And yeah. I show it to I you. I love the way you're bartering with yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, w I wanna... But, but, here. You get this money if you help us in there. And we will protect you when we get in there. We want you inside because we don't know where to go or... So you have to show us. Uh, Pot Pot uh, sort of turns to... Uh, looks at Steg and says, eh, Pot Pot not interested in see... Ooh. And he sort of takes the nine silver coins and the gold scale from you and goes, Okay, I will help. I will take you to mountain. Okay, can, can you can, can you show me what you got from me? It's mine. You yeah, can... you, you show it. I take a step back. N not yes. in the back. And I just want to look at it. You see through his spindly fingers that he's holding nine silver coins and a golden scale. Okay. Can I see it? Can I look? Can I? Uh, you will get it back, okay? You gave it to me. Yeah, you will give it back. I just want to see it. No, it's mine, and I help. Okay. This is very weird, but uh, this is the most generous I've ever seen this dwarf before. Oh wait, you gi did give us gifts before, yes. I got the pornography calendar. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is still a scar on my memory. It still yeah, hurts yeah, when yeah. thinking about it. The goblin okay, sold mind. it to me, said it was good. Oh, you buy from goblins? Goblins sell good quality things, yes? Yes, you should yeah. always trust the goblin, obviously. Okay, yeah. I'm happy with this. So they, so, they, uh, so tomorrow we assault the mountain, uh, sneakily assaulting the mountain. Very good. Okay, tomorrow hunting day, lots of goblins outside, and we go inside. I show yeah. you way. Okay. I show you anyway. I can show you harbor. I can show you cave, and I can show you main entrance. You decide. Bye bye. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, thank you, Potot. <laughs> so what are we supposed to do today? What's the question? Da, 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 okay, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Pot Pot sort of goes into the corner and he starts hiding the silver coins uh, in his clothing. And then he looks over his shoulder and sees Burgess and look away! Oh, food! Oh, yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. 
By the way, I, the book that is in front of me, and also the book you told there is was one book. There was actually a book. What, yeah. What is that book about? Uh the wait, wait, but you couldn't read the Anturian book. No, the Anturian. No. Okay, so that was no. also in Anturian. Okay. Yeah. Yes, all the books you found except for the one lying in front of yeah. you now were in Anturian. Yeah. Okay. This one seems to have been scribbled very roughly recently. Yeah. And uh, someone forgot to put the stopper in the ink bottle. Yeah, is there... put the stopper back in the ink bottle, of course. Yeah. Okay, one but... fast question. Is there breakfast in the tent? Uh, yeah. Someone is eating a pineapple and uh, there's some cheese lying around. Yeah, I'm gonna eat some cheese. And I'm gonna mute myself because I'm gonna eat for real. That's hardcore role-playing right there. <laughs> <Either boy. laughs> I am, is it I having am... frozen cheese? The the book I am just looking like if there is a name in, in, in the, like the first pages of the book. Oh, well, it looks to be uh, uh, the book in front of you looks to belong to Victoria. Yeah, okay. It's, so it I, says I just... the property of Victoria the Imperial. Yeah, okay. So I read. I read <laughs> My full name. Yeah. Scientific journal. So I, I read uh, the scribbled parts that somebody wrote recently. Uh, I put See, the, did you do the honors? <laughs> Back and I close the book and I bring the, bring the book back inside and give it to Victoria and says, "Has been out laying in the in the in the winter cold thing or in the not the winter cold but in the cold night and the oh. book should never be in the, in the cold." So I give oh, it back. Oh boy, terrible! I must have I must have left it outside. Thank you. No problem. I kind of like. Sit, Next to you sit next to Victoria and try to like if if Victoria is eating slash reading the books I'm kind of trying to be there to see if she tells me anything about it. Shall I read out loud, sir? Oh, yeah, if if you find anything interesting, they could help us on our journey. It'd be nice. Uh, you uh. As you shuffle through the papers and the books that Merrick has brought you, you find a few love letters seem to be addressed to Melisandre. Uh, they are from different dukes and barons and jarls all over the, the world. They seem to be describing uh, their lust and love for the lovely Melisandre. And uh, there's a few journals. One seems to be uh, from the acting captain, Jack. He seems to be writing about his family and how he misses them. He also seems to include a few letters to his family. You find one quite large journal that seems to be a record of all the military movements and uh, the all, even so going down to saying comments that some of the uh, the uh, illoyalists as the author calls them, have been talking about the true empress. So this seems to be sort of a journal for the Anturian, uh, well, maybe the uh, intelligence agency of the Anturian Empire, and somebody seems to be writing down a full report of what happens in this camp and uh, sending it to them. And you also find the fi fine leather book that says uh, the uh, the basics, the basics and uses of medical tonics approved by the Empire, free from witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Which seems to be a recipe book for some basic uh, alchemical mixtures uh, for um, health and uh, recuperation. Certainly this might be useful. Well, it's going to be useful for people like me and my practices. Okay, okay. That's quite decent. But... Uh, for whatever reason, if we... Ugh, perhaps this might be of interest to Theog. Uh, records of military... Movements. I can't read my own handwriting. <laughs> records of military... Is what I wrote. Oh, well, yeah. So, yeah. so it seems to be a military intelligence report from this encampment. I'm just going to write that a little bit clearer in my own... Religion. Is it more a bit of a like uh, a disciplinary commissary, like a log? I suppose. The ranks, kind of intelligence. 
Uh, it seems to be everything from uh, how uh, how the rations are apportioned to comments made by people to uh, uh, decisions uh, made by the commanders and uh, results and things like that. Everything seems to be written down. Even uh, uh, there's even a short little note about someone not sharpening their sword or cleaning their armor during the approved hour for doing such things. I, well, this might not be... Well, I can't decipher this quite. I'm not a military woman, but this might be of interest to the other person that can in fact read this. But I can't say this is very interesting. Although it is, I must say, impressingly meticulous. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. So perhaps, per perchance, this is... Let's let's break off fast. Okay. That was the fanciest thing I've ever said. <clears throat> I wish for food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> can I? Uh, uh, I didn't want to interrupt too much. Uh, can I have grab Hannibal, Hannibal out of the tent before we start reading uh, the journals? Think. Can I have had grab? Yeah, sure. Uh. Where do you put him? Just uh, <laughs> by the fire. Uh, just uh, uh, quickly recapping the situation, explaining our drug-fueled uh, maniac of a dwarf and how it, it actually was, was the Ixnas' fault. He seems to grumble something out not the first time being a prisoner of traitors. <laughs> Oink. Oh boy. <laughs> Oink. 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 Not the first time being a prisoner, you say. <laughs> but I, I also, uh, a while back, I just uh, moved my character back to uh, the sand skiff and back again. So I, uh, I wanted to, by that motion, I wanted to uh, um, get some supplies. So this is what I'm making breakfast of. Uh, okay, so you go get smuggler the... surprise. Fruits and onions, and uh, whatever special from the uh, Sanskif. Uh, I I'm not gonna take our time, but Merrick is kind of when they walk over. We have been going through all the books. Merrick kind of yep. pushes Victoria to like try to explain oh. the a chemical book thing that he tells he's kind of interesting in that. And if she knows knowledge, he would love to learn something. And he just kind of wants to sit and talk about that, but have to go there, but you know. Mm. He's like casually in the background, that's what we were doing. <laughs> yeah, that's where so we're probably uh, discussing the medical, uh, the medical uh, uh, properties of different things that are mentioned in the book as well. Uh, Did you know are... that local anesthetics do in fact block so like voltage-gated sodium channels <laughs> by first inserting... I'll stop, <laughs> but that's about it. <laughs> that is actually how local anesthetics work. Yay! Yay! Okay, before I went to eat, I think I was at this tent. Wait, is it this? Whose tent is this? Uh, you do not know. <gasps> okay, but... What was in it? Uh, have you? If you look through it, you find uh, that someone has been there grabbing books. You find some weird equipment: a Bunsen burner, some vials, and some bottles. You find four bottles of some weird liquid, and then you find three small vials of something else. That uh, when you open one of them, it smells real strong, and you sort of get pain in your nose and eyes. Okay, I will take the three vials, yep. and I, I just want to be nice now. So, which scent is this? That seems to be the quartermaster's tent. Okay, where's the comb? Uh, yeah, oh. uh, it's uh, that that tent is actually uh, the communal tent. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I grab the comb and the small chest of valuables and the three vials, and I give the comb to Victoria. Yeah. Oh. Because I saw her struggling an... with her hair. Aren't you an absolute dear? Thank you so so much. Want some cheese? <coughs> Oh, sorry, that might be. Pardon? <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Wait, who were you asking about the cheese? You. Oh, um, yes. Yes, I would quite like some cheese. Why can't I roleplay that part? <laughs> <laughs> I hate 
Jeez. For <laughs> 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 oh, real or yeah. in the role yeah, play? You hate it. IRL. Real. I, That's true. Or I will peel it off pizza. It's that bad. So just like for some reason saying like yes to cheese. I was like, I have to do it. <laughs> you monster. <laughs> It's that like, that's is like too far. cheese favorite pastime. You like to eat cheese, so that is like. <laughs> I mean, eating cheese, smoking a pipe, and just drinking some wine. Hello. <laughs> okay, so oh, I we got a up proper to... ERL uh, conflict here. <laughs> I, 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 I walk up to Tyr and like kind of whisper to him a little bit. Hey, buddy, what what the fuck happened yesterday? Because people have been saying stuff, and I don't. I don't remember. Uh, uh, I don't know. Follow me, lad. Let's have a little walk. We Wanna do are... a fast walk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will bend space and time. Ah, yes. By my cosmic powers. <laughs> Eat. So... You remember eating some black moss, you say? Yeah, because I did a bet with the other guy, right? Uh -huh. Not the bet. He said if I eat, he eats. Uh -huh. Well, as far as I can remember, did you come out to the tent, go to the uh, enclosure with the X now, and then some you came out of there, and I think somebody followed you in. And when they returned, they shouted that you had incapacitated the guard. And okay. then the murdering started. So, did, um, wait, wait, did, 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 did. Uh, Do you see that? See what? In over here? Was hmm. something moving? Uh, really? Well, we'll continue this conversation later. Uh, can I roll a perception check to see yeah. the thing that I can clearly see? <laughs> did, did, I, did I see it or do you want me to roll perception before I said I saw uh, something? Wrong? No, you saw something. Uh, okay. But uh, sure, roll perception too. Oh, 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 this is. It might this be is... that you don't see it and he's just trying to distract you. Yeah, this is gonna go great. Okay. Nine? No, that's a seven for me. Oh. <laughs> wow, <you> okay. <laughs> so bad. He's I obviously am. trying to distract you from this conversation. Did you see it? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Just okay. Maybe the black moss is talking. <laughs> sure is. Well. So right. Do you see less? Yeah. We bury the other Anturians here. Oh. So, Why? Because... <clears throat> we killed them. And we killed them because you started to fight them. I take the black mouse and you throw it. Oh, Over here it? or something. I don't want it you, anymore. You know, if you had done that when you found it, we wouldn't have five dead comrades lying in the dirt. Oh, shit. Sad. Yeah. So, you know, our plan was to uh, cozy up to these guys, and then, perhaps, we might have even been able to convince them to come with us and help us on our mission. You know, I see this group that we have as a bunch of comrades, brothers and sisters in arms. These Anturians could have been that too. But unfortunately, because of you, they are dead. Oh crap. That's why the other guy is tied up, right? Yep. So what are we gonna do with him? Well... I don't know. I think that is something for our Anturian to decide, oh, since he knows okay. the best. I should go talk to Steg, right? Because he was kind of his people. 
Yep. Oh, and okay. you should probably do some soul searching. You know, us dwarves are looked upon like stout, calm, and honest fellows. That gives us an advantage in the world. You know I'm a thief, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> the thing I don't murder. That is something that has been bothering me a lot. Well, he was because you see, I, I gave you that chair, though. Ah, uh, yes, you did. Thanks. <laughs> oh well. I feel a little. That's bad about now. it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, we have this cool camp now. Oh yay! And five lives on our conscious. What a bar bargain! Well, yeah, okay. just okay. think about it, lad. Next time you want to do something fun, I'm not gonna do first. drugs to drink anymore. Well, that's good. I won't drink either. I decided tonight. Okay. Okay, everybody. So, when we get to Big Mountain, we can go through harbor. Harbor is quickest way to get to the throne room. But if you go through harbor, it is also very open and often guarded because it's also where we keep the animals. And the animals can sniff you from very far. If we go so through the perhaps uh, releasing the animals, would this be possible? To create some chaos to enable us to sneak in? What kind of animals is it? Is it like ponies that you described before? <laughs> no, not ponies. Okay. It is furry rides and scaly rides. Are they dangerous? Uh, yes. Are they gonna bite us if we release them? Or sting you. Are they gonna sting the other Scorpions. goblins? No, we teach them very well. I teach them very well, not sting goblins. Babe, on the other hand, babe, you cannot uh, trust to not sting you. You have to be very so quick. If you release firm. them, they're gonna probably sniff us out and attack us, right? Yes, that no, is the danger perhaps, of going uh, through attack the other goblins. So uh, that's why uh, Potpot is the one who's gonna do the releasing of the scorpions. Oh, do I know? Right. Do I know? About yeah, nah, talks no, talks to the animals and makes them not sting us. This is also good. Potpot and Jenna well, has control of creating chaos. If it's like a, a big harbor, then I have to scream into it. And that's, you know, it's loud. And they find us, and maybe the animal's like, nah, I don't want to help you. And then I was, they know where we are. I was and he could talk to them. As the scorpion. Merrick, can you turn people, no, animals into scorpions? Uh, no. Scorpions are insane. Okay. I have other plan though. Can't Merrick turn us all into bird-like stuff? No, you can't. No, flying things, right? Uh, bats. I can turn you all into flying dogs. And then we just fly in. But then you then need to be in there to I turn us turn no, to... Turn big bats so we can carry you? <laughs> Everybody's a bat! Well, okay, no. Aggressively t uh, uh, I, think, I think we should stay on the ground. We listen to Pot Pot. He okay. decided to trust the goblin, so now we trust the goblin. That is, this, this is danger. Happening. Yes, this is danger with Harbor Way. Uh, there are animals that will sniff you, and if they sniff you, they will try to eat you. Okay. Then you can go front gate. Front gate only okay. goblins watch. So if you disguise or if you come with gift, they might let you through. But it is also, it's also possible during midday that lots of goblins are sleeping and you can try to climb past them without showing yourself. That is the front gateway. And then there is the cave. Cave, you can come from very far away, go through cave system and end up right by the treasury. But I don't recommend that way. I like so that way though. We should take that way. I like that way. Why don't you recommend that way? Please uh, let him finish. Yes. Oh, sorry. Well, it's, it's because uh, Babe lives in cave. Babe is uh, uh, pet to Brian. Big Brian. <gasps> oh. Big Brian's pet babe is living in caves, and uh, 
She does not like company. Wait, is it Big Brain or Big Brian? It, it's the same. That's Brian. what I said. Brian. Oh, Brian. Brian, Brian. I kind of like this guy. I don't think I want to kill him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? No. You're good in my book. You're good in my book. So so I mean, you we should... don't have to kill him. We have to kill Five Finger Sammy anyway. So maybe but you should take the front Sammy is friend of them? Big Brain. Yes, exactly. So to uh, when we get rid of Big Brain, we also have to get rid of Sammy. Or else Big Brain, uh, Sammy will throw you out again. Yes? Maybe you are cleverest goblin. <laughs> Oh, he thinks you look like I would like to think so, yes. <laughs> pot, pot? Pot, pot? Yeah. Yes? The, go the, the, the gold thing you got from me? Is that something other goblins would like? It's mine. No, I but check. I have more. If I give the other goblins, would they let us in? Is that a treasure for you guys? Why don't you give me and I can give two goblins? Inside check. Because I can only give one per person. I'm sorry. But I so want if... more. No. You make exception for pot pot, please. Yeah, afterwards. When we're done and you helped us, you can get one more. I will help. Right, okay. Yeah. Right, right now, pot pot needs to tell us what kind of animal babe is. Babe is the big animal. It's mm -hmm. not like, a... like furry and not like stingy. Like a big but boar? It... Pig? No. No. It's very, very beautiful. You, in your language, we could say, yes, shadow, cave shadow, is what it is. Baby's cave shadow. Okay, I, no, M maybe. I, do it, can the like? Wait, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm there. Never mind. No, I'm actually in. <laughs> We're sitting with was... me over here. I, think, uh, I would turn to Jen and be like, like, "Do you recognize right? this?" Maybe I could talk to the shadow. Talk to babe. Babe not talk very much. Babe make noise sometimes, but what? otherwise babe very quiet. I can sometimes talk to babe almost to eats me when I try to feed babe. Oh, what does babe eat? Goblins. <laughs> Humans. <laughs> furry things. Okay, I point at Popple. Is babe as big as this? No, I point Popple. at Popple. No, no, I'm not gonna say. I wanna wonder how big baby is. Oh, okay. <laughs> how Baby's, big is babe? Baby's closer to tent than Poppet. Oh, holy shit. Okay, oh. we're not gonna go into. Not quite as big as tent, but almost. Like the cage, maybe, you were in? A little bigger? Yeah, uh, uh, I wanna meet yes. the shadow. Babe would not fit in cage. Unless babe tried to make babe very small. Maybe. Okay, does the babe have any legs? Yes, babe Wings? has legs. Tail? Oh. How many legs? Uh, last, last count, eight legs. Fuck <laughs> that. Slave uh. Okay. We have giant yeah. scorpions or we have giant spider. These yeah. are options. No, cave okay, shadow. Uh, not a shadow. Okay, cave shadow. Mary, <laughs> can you turn spiders into smaller animals? I am not there actually, so I can't answer. What do you Mary? want, Victoria? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can Plus call for us and you can come out, I guess. They can just yell and we'll show up. Yeah, 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 yeah. come out, guys. Every yeah, yeah. Everybody, oh, yeah. we're having a big it's discussion. It's planning time. Yeah. Yes, 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 of course. <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but what should we do with this guy? Uh, can you see? Oh, this? he is our ally now. He's going to work with us to free the captain, and he is totally aware that last night was a huge mistake, uh, 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 fueled by a bug uh, enhanced uh, uh, craziness. <clears throat> yes, this is uh, very true. Are you okay, buddy? You're still tied up, right? Is he still tied up? Still tied up. Uh, only why? his hands. Then, then why is he tied up still if he's our ally? <laughs> oh, he because likes he's been giving me kind of shit. Very advantage. So I can. Do you like the pig part? So maybe he's so gonna I start can... doing that. So he's our ally, right? So start untying him. Yeah. Right? He gets untied and he uh, looks go, at buddy. you. It seems to be something burning behind his eyes. 
Might be rage. But he sits quietly. Might be migraine. <laughs> no. No, sorry. Sorry, that was just me. He sort of wrings his hands and rests a little bit where the ropes were. And he sort of mutters, so you're really going through with this. Attacking the goblins. No, we're not gonna attack. We're gonna be friendly, give them gifts, and they let us in, and then we attack them from the inside. And when you find our captain, you kill him as well, then? No, I don't think is this, so. Is it... Why should we kill him? Is it is with you? Well, what do I know? You've killed my friends. Well, uh, in case of Jehan, maybe you've killed my enemies as well, but uh, what do I know? You're working with the beasts? And he looks over at uh, Merrick. Yeah, he's my friend, yeah. You fraternize with thieves? And he looks at you. Yeah, that's me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now you're working with goblins. No, so I, I don't know he, what I paid to him. I paid him, so he's not my friend. He's just. But, but I like Who you. Who is he but... talking to exactly? He's talking to all of you. Yes. Is he trustworthy? He doesn't no, sound like but, it. No, but he's out of you, so uh, I think we're fine. <laughs> yes, we just find a way to work around that. So what this is is uh, is just me trying to convince you to if we let your captain go, may perhaps you could report uh, this this whole incident as an attack by some crazy dwarves and perhaps an Ixnas, and perhaps just leave out the part where a retired you uh, Antorian captain uh, took part in uh, this company that attacked you. It's just a small please for me. I would be would very much obliged prayer? and very incentivized to uh, rescue your captain if you were to agree to this. You could consider me honor bound to it. And if I don't cooperate? Well, well that's we can leave you here. I will just tie you up and leave you here. I was thinking about taking his tongue and fingers. That's I'll excessive. A chance! <laughs> He has still he still has drugs in his system. Yeah. I, yeah. I do apologize <laughs> for that. It's it's the black moss talking. Uh, On occasion the rage sort of sticks out. So I just kind of like pet like pat him a little bit. Make <laughs> just like you see. And sometimes see? you even have to do this. You're kissing now. <laughs> can I uh, can I give him a slap, please? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now we'll take rage, and then I go into uh, Berserker stance, and no, 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 Punches you in the sorry, guts. Bird. Looks like you punched Merrick for. Oh no, know. you missed his face. I, I kind of want to punch him back, but I don't think I will. Well, is that sort of help? Before the testosterone just clouds everyone's judgment, I just stop. I just. I put my hand on his shoulder. Does it feel better now? <laughs> don't touch me, swine. Oh, I don't like this guy. I think you were a swine. Merrick. <laughs> were you a swine? What, what do you mean swine? Because you don't like him or... Alright, so speaking of the siege tomorrow... <laughs> Today? I am pretty sure. To the I think about uh, how oh, yes. long... Pot Pot, how long does it take us to come to the mountain? At least five sessions. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, with, with this wind, you should probably start tonight or today, but uh, you should be careful not to get seen by the guy. If you yeah, want but... to make it by me, you cannot make it during midday tomorrow in one go. Unless you take cave, then we could go today. Should we take cave, guys? Well, okay, so what is this cave? Cave time? Cave it's it's, it's babe and the treasures. Okay, so there is babe and the treasures. What treasure? So, yes, we get the arachnid and we get into the treasury. Number option number two is uh, support, the harbor. 
where we can uh, roll uh, straight in with our ships. Uh, we might have some scorpion thingies that try to attack us if they sniff us. Otherwise, we might be able to release them and create chaos. Uh, okay, and go, from go. there, we could go up. And finally, we have the main entrance where we can bribe our way in. Hopefully, but okay. we will not be able to enter uh, and see. First of all, or you can go sneaky. You up. can go sneaky too. It's first, lots of cliff. Very hard climb. First of all, we are not the greatest crew when it comes to disguises. We have probably Berg that could do it, but nobody else. Uh, and a cave is what one creature. We are like what five, six, seven, eight, eight people. Can eight yeah, people we just... take care of one creature? Oh, this is a spider as big as a tent. Well, but he has a glowing uh, point on his stomach or something, and that's a good spot to hit. <laughs> I, I know how yeah, glow fights work. Yeah, yeah, me what? too. Yeah. <laughs> what is spider and why does it have glowy thing? So, a, well, well it's a nightmare creature I mean, you would never want to meet. Big Scorpios in, 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 with a multiple Scorpios? That sounds more... Hard. Okay, should we vote? I yeah, mean, I don't know vote? about you all. Yeah, I don't know about you all, but I'm allergic to poison. <laughs> oh, good for you. Yeah. You should get that checked out. <laughs> I did once. It hurt. <laughs> okay. Yo, we just send in this guy and appoint that the, then let's vote. first and let's see what's happening. Oh, uh, but we also have, sorry, there's just a few more factors. So tomorrow is where everybody is out on the hunt. So it will be less goblins in the caves. So this is good. Uh, but we also have to remember Potpot is Beastmaster. Uh, he knows how to take care of scorpions. He does not know how to take care of babe. Ex beast. Is this true? I was beast master. Hey, can we use feed okay, but babe? You're retired. And he's full, and he won't attack us. Yeah. Is that a thing? Can hot, we, hot. I can maybe like. Does he get calm when babe gets food? Uh, babe eats when babe wants. Babe always hunts. Mm. Babe, save food for later. Oh. Babe, very clever. So it kills everything that moves and you saves it? Not always kill, sometimes paralyze. Oh, crap. Yeah. Does, he, does Babe uh, make his own uh, fabric? Oh, yes, very silky. Yeah, a spider, okay. right? Yeah. Uh, or a very giant moth. Oh, yes, this is true. <laughs> no, yes. moth. Uh, Jenna, who can speak to animals. Power. Yeah. The, Jenna, do you speak uh, spider? Perhaps? Do I speak with insects? Not usually, but you could probably try, yeah. You. Yeah. The roll is good enough. Okay. <laughs> they usually don't have much to say because they're very small and their neurons fire like chirp chirp! Yeah, but in theory, Run. I could speak to yes. insects and birds and all the. Yes. Yeah. So let's yeah. go for Cape. Uh, but, but yeah, Cape? Merrick, uh, I, I go like, um, uh, also, if we find goblins on the way, I can maybe make them a little bit bigger and just let Babe have them. Mm. Could be an this is idea. good. But the thing is, if you kill Babe and come from the treasure room, we're going to be hostile from the rest of the place, right? I do believe everyone here has realized that we will not be able to do this without being hostile towards the goblins. Even which if you go and will bribe lead them. to battle. This is everyone kind of a is thing aware being of that, hostile right? to people. Yeah. That if we... <laughs> so why are we standing here then? Let's go to the cave. The well, I'd like to be less hostile to less creatures. Yeah. If I could. The... The problem, I think, is that even if we manage to have like someone good at making deceptions and try to lure us way into the main gate, let's say we are uh, traveling court jesters, whatever, we don't really have any skills for that trading. And even the, even though if, I guess Tyr as well has court life, like 
you can you know a little bit of courting is in, in, in the, the, the courts itself but the problem is that we don't know the culture of goblins anyway so we can't probably adapt to that so we could probably just mess that up anyway we just throw money at them <laughs> we well, could bribe them I think we are not going to yeah. be able to fool our way inside yes yeah. and also pot pot is exiled so he is not welcome back yes yeah. this is correct yes. pot pot Put, put, so I think sort of uh, we agreed main entrance is out of uh, yeah. question. Yeah. yeah, out of the yes, question. Quite. Yes, thank you. Okay, so there? caves or harbor? Caves or harbor? 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 But I think the harbor would be more chaotic for us also, even if we because we don't know if the animal's gonna attack us afterwards or. And if it's Wait. only the big spider, we can well, it's big, control that more. Well, it's going to be inside the mountain anyway. I mean, like, even if we manage to get into the harbor, we get into the mountain and try to find Big Brain and, and uh, Sammy Five Fingers. Is Babe going to be there running around anyway? Uh, but babe lives sounds like in Babe only lives in caves. Babe lives in bottom caves. So babe Close to pressure. Leaves. Okay, so Babe never leaves the bottom. Only if very hungry. So you always need to feed Babe, otherwise Babe go hunting. Okay. This Babe never leaves the bottoms. <laughs> what? <laughs> so should we vote? God damn, so we can get the fuck out of here? <laughs> okay, let's vote. Okay. Right. Okay, okay. I, I think we need... we're gonna use some okay. in-game mechanics. Let's uh, wiggle when we wanna do when we wanna vote, okay. right? I need to go back to the camp. Wait, 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 wait. I was Busy. Uh, How do you GM is uh, uh, panicking, creating a cave right now. Uh, <laughs> <anyway>. <laughs> no, I was just making room in the cave. Like we'll even get there before the session ends. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's vote. Uh, everybody that uh, uh, want to vote for the cave, Wiggles now. Wait, <laughs> almost unanimous. Let's go. Uh, but you didn't let us wiggle for other one. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> everybody wants to go to the harbor, wheels now. Okay, that is... Okay, that is stupid. Wait, 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 what did Teal do? I, I uh, request uh, this vote recounted, he did something completely different. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to wiggle. <laughs> you right click and then emotes and wiggle. Oh boy. Right click, emotes, wiggle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, no, uh, no, no. <laughs> nope, that's not happening. Mm. Sorry, this is this is we stupid. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm gonna quit this now. Okay, just let's go. The dwarf not being able to raise his hand is like, what? How do I? Otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have one more question. Will we all fit on the boat? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Let's decide. Yes. In Everybody interest... agrees. We get now. In the Sorry. interest of self-preservation. Yes. If you enter by the cave, will you also leave by the cave? Well, that is the... Probably. It depends... I'd say... Well, I think it depends on if we meet Babe when we in the cave. Because maybe I don't want to go back if Babe is somewhere in there still. But... I also believe that we cannot really plan our exit strategy because we have no clue how this will go once we enter. Oh, that's true. oh I do. I do have. I do have idea. Yeah, take it on the boat. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, sorry, Pot Pot. I will Just pay you. Great idea, Pot Pot. Keep it to I'm yourself. Probably gonna end with lots of goblins chasing. <laughs> Ch chasing. So bow time. Oh, pot, pot. I mean, you are a very clever goblin. Fast do this while goblin. I pay. Okay, let's go to boat. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, perhaps. <laughs> so, no. so we bring uh, we uh, provisions today, and everything we can, we can use from the camp. Ah, uh, right, 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 right. The other thing tomorrow. All right, all right. Good. <laughs> but we also bring provisions and stuff from the camp, right? Yeah, and also look for yeah. like anything. But we're not gonna act that out. Do we need? Do we need anything that could be in the camp that could be necessary, like any weapons or? There, 
crossbow and crossbow bolts uh, lying about. You have, uh, well, let's see what else we put on the list here in the camp. There's some surgical equipment, some small bottles that I don't think that So we're work. just gonna grab that list and we're gonna bring it with us on the boat. Yes. Should grab the list. All... Yeah, but I, I took the elixirs or the, yeah. the small ones. Stingling. Yeah, yeah. Three small ones. It was th three of them, I think, and then I took the valuables that were like three gold or something. Uh, should we bring along the tent? It will be hard to fit the tent on the ship. Yes, never mind, don't bring the tent, but we do bring Hannibal and we allow him to have his ammo, yes? Yeah. Would you we mind me having some armor as well, or do you want me to be naked as an Torian... <clears throat> like a pig. ...woman of pleasure? He's just bait, right? Ah, oh, this reminds me. It takes me back. Yes, go grab me armor. Uh, we have to be in for a fight. Yeah, we we give him something. Like what was it? Medium armor. A lot of armor. Yeah, so he probably puts on some proper armor. Do we have an armored hey, warrior? Hey, what's a large large back deck corbin? Uh, it's a pole arm. It's oh. a large. Uh, Sort of a hammer with a what do you call it? A spike, 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 spike on the end. Yeah, it's yeah. like a polar arm, but a hammer and a spike. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like a hammer. What's that done? Axe and hammer, or no polar arm, of course. And he takes yeah. his great hammer and puts on some uh, uh, nice uh, gambeson armor and. Uh, well, this beats being tied up, and perhaps I might even save my captain and get rid of some of you in the same... You're caves. going first, bro. <laughs> of course I am. I would argue, but I do believe uh, a certain amount of animosity is to be expected from this man. I can't even argue. Nope, me neither. No, I do wish... Selfishly, I wish to not perish by the eight legs of an arachnid, I must say. You should take a leg each. Yeah, cool. <laughs> it's good. It's cool. Take one leg each. It doesn't Still really gonna matter. be one leg left over! No, no. Oh, wait. We are. Our can, plan. You can, can't stand on one leg. Just roll. Okay, let's go! Wind in the cell. I, I've been playing Monster Hunter Rise. I know about arachnids. They are, like, easy. Just hit them. Big body part. <laughs> aye aye, sir. <laughs> Raise if you can fly. Uh, sure. <laughs> Wind in sail. <laughs> Hold on, you can toss me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As uh, you come aboard and start readying the sails, uh, you hear a large tingling noise from a small metallic thing hanging from the belt of uh, uh, Jenna. And oh, it starts dear. to throw some sand around. And the wind picks time? up almost at the same time, filling your sails, and you get a large boost as you leave the Entorian camp behind. As the uh, morning winds take, or actually the uh, the midday winds by this point take you away. Is that thing helping us? Uh, maybe? We don't know. <laughs> But the, the, uh, let's just the say that the magical it? ancient thing is helping us and not cursing us. Yes! This is but great. also, Merrick heard the, the tingling sound, so he also wanted to look at it while we go on the boat. Yes. It uh, seems to be spinning uh, quite... Yeah. But does not it have as fast as it did when anymore? everything started to melt in the cave, but yeah. yeah it's, what was your question? Uh, so, is anybody screen printing uh, pot pot right now? Just to make sure. I haven't understood how you <laughs> do that. Because yeah. he, he's showing the way, right? But yes. oh, yeah. he's the navigator. Yeah. So, yeah, he was was from from the <laughs> isn't there a stick still in the cube? No, I removed it. No. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. So, cue the song Away, Away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, and as you uh, cross the plains and head over the dunes, you can see the red mountain growing in uh, the distance. And as the midday sun hits the peak, you see something shiny glimmer in uh, the uh, 
on the top, on the summit. Something that uh, sort of throws uh, rays of light back in your eyes. Ooh, and Potpot's screaming eye. with his nice little goggles <laughs> on, screaming, It's the big eye! Big eye cannot see today! Big eye blinded by sun! Yeah, that's hey, good. Yeah. Fuck you, Sauron! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Screw you! Um, he leads you to uh, an area filled with uh, cliffs and uh, sort of large, uh, large, oh, what would you say? Yeah, cliffs and rocks, and just sort of guides you between them. Uh, with your help, and with Stieg sort of taking command and uh, showing everyone how the sails work for some reason. Nobody really knows where this came from, not even Stieg himself, but he seems to be very assured of himself handling this ship all of a sudden. As he takes you across the dunes into the rocky area where Pot Pot suddenly tells you to stop! Hammer time! No? You come <laughs> to a small crevice that, like that leads down into a deep, dark dungeon. He leads you through the darkness. Pot Pot and... Uh, Hannibal going first into the darkness. Pot Pot sort of uh, puts a few stones together to make sparks and lights the top of his spear or his little stick and starts to glow, giving off a warm yellow light as he guides you through the darkness. Uh, it's this system of small, small and very, very cramped caves. It's hard for everyone to. Uh, to make it through. And let's see here. We can get into the darkness. Man, I do not like to owe a god something. This feels like... Ah, oh, this god is blessing you with things. No, oh, can have them back. I don't like it. <laughs> it's okay. I don't like owing things. My god put me in my mountain. And I fucking crushed it. I ask you the G and how much we should explore this before we also have to think about Yes. We're yeah. about to end the stream. So, so no, let's... no, I want to see let's Brilliant. Get <laughs> let's see, who are we missing? We're missing. And what if he. And Victoria. Huh? Is actually here. And... Victoria here? And let's get Hannibal. Yep. She's right. behind you. Kind of inside of you? On me. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. I was at first. Ew. Oh. Okay, so everybody keep an eye out on Hannibal. Just make sure he does not hit you with his hammer in the back of the head. But he's already in, right? And Pot Pot. Yes, they are leading the way. Uh, I'm just gonna get all characters in the same spot. There we go. <laughs> After a while, the cave opens up, at least a little bit, into a large chamber. Uh, the roof is in places quite uh, quite uh, quite high up uh, yet you'll have to climb to get up to it and there are small 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 crevices for you to walk through like a maze oh. at some certain places you can actually look at, above the rocks and see crevices on the other side but it will not help you unless you climb up across the hunting ground of babe we don't really have to do that, because Pot Pot knows the way, right? Yes, I know way, but we be very careful now. Okay. This is hunting ground. This is where, this is where Babe goes to feed. Well, we sneak. Uh, this is sneaky. we all roll sneak? Yes, please. Oh, shit. Hold on. Right. Oh, yeah. Allow are sneak. you armored? You should just undress. <laughs> you know what? I think I am, actually. But we will want to have that armor later, right? But if I mean... he gets to us and you don't have your armor on, oh. you're gonna be screwed. Yeah, that is true. So either we try to sneak all the way without armor, if he finds us, we're screwed. Or we try to sneak with armor, if he finds us, we're okay. Yeah, yeah, armor stays on. Uh, I rolled 12, because it was such a crappy roll. 
Yeah. I rolled a 21. Oh my god. 16, it was- 20. wait, how- I'm supposed 16. to be good at this, I suck. 16, yeah. What did I get? I see, sorry, just a double check. Uh, if I get a double, was it plus three? Or was it something yes. else? Yes. Plus three. Okay, good. 21. I got uh, a 12. In the US. Uh, oh, no. Oh, crap. I did it again. Sorry. Oh, no. That's... <laughs> clunk, that's... clunk, clunk. Yep, I do believe that is a five. So, we let T walk another path? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll just go this way. He <laughs> is our bait, so... Yeah. <laughs> is it really I... dark in here? Can we see? It's very dark, but for your dwarves, you can still see. Yeah. Uh, some of you have the light sources on. And, and yeah. Is that think... Mart, though? Sp the spider sees? Hey, do do? now I can right-click! It works! Wow! He wiggles now. Oh, he's so I can wiggle! <laughs> oh. Yay! Stop, stop wiggling! We're trying to sneak! <laughs> so, Bert, what it's was your result? 12. Uh, yeah. You rolled as good as me. Yeah, I have four dice. I don't know why well, you just got low. Uh, Hank, yes. how much do I see? Well, when you have light sources on, you can see the cave quite clearly. Yeah. There's no other light sources except yours. Okay. Uh, the ones you bring with. So I need I need some kind of light source, but I don't. Really so maybe need... we should do like a line <laughs> that T works first and I last, and then we have a, like a rope, and then you just walk. Yeah. And you you keep our guards uh, back guarded. This is good. Wait, do you I have a plus I, three on your uh, uh, sneak roll? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. I have any... With armor? I don't have yeah. any armor. Leather armor or light yeah. armor. Uh, Alright, sorry. Of course. Yeah, because I can see if, if someone's coming from the back and T yeah, can be in front. Yeah, I am okay with that. Let's go. Yes. So line line time. So I'm thinking about two going in front of Pamable and Popple behind you, and you, s because Popple has light, right? Yeah, Popple, Popple is Popple. 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 Perhaps we should Popple. leave uh, Popple outside. Yes. Or he just but turns Popple. off the light. Or should I make Popple a little bit smaller? Can you can you make him into something more uh, ferocious? ferocious? Hey! <laughs> well, Jenna will have to ask Papa if Papa want to be more ferocious and what Papa want to be. A bear, a bear, a bear, a bear. I think he wants to be a saber-toothed tiger. Oh, what's that? If you want to turn you into something else, what would you like to be? A butterfly. <laughs> Papa. I cannot make that choice. He only says. Okay. So that very. sounds like something a dolphin would say. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mary, what do you think fits? Maybe, Cougar? maybe, maybe a lion. No. Maybe something that can see lion? the dark. Cougar. Cougar. I can make a cougar. Yeah. <laughs> they are kind of <laughs> sneaky. As well. Yeah, they're kind of sneaky yeah, as well. But... Okay, they are the same size. They are the same size. Okay, I will... Why not look at the... Uh, you can look at the, the... We have the furries, the big furry beast that we ride on. We can have a furry oh. one. <laughs> we are not making any furries! <laughs> <laughs> so, Merrick is uh, touching... Uh, Popple's head. Yes. And uh, I roll. And I hope I roll good. And I kind of did. 19. Uh, 20, Just putting some examples here. Ooh, so I am yeah. turning Popple into. Do we have cougars? What animals do no. we have? We no, have a wolf hyenas, for hyenas. Horse, horse, donkey, cow, pig, do, chicken. We don't cat. have any. Cat. We, uh, we do have a cat. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make, Can you make the cat, cat bigger? 
Oh, Henry, good. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, so I made Pumpel into a Jaguar, a Black Panther. <laughs> Almost the same as a Cougar. I mean, like. Oh, terrifying. <laughs> that is, that is a. I made him into Black Panther. That's a cat. I mean, that it kind, of, yourself. kind of suits Pumpel's personality as well. Yeah. <laughs> Like turn him into a cougar, he'll definitely just like sit like that and just look at everybody. <laughs> Being a little bit awkward. Okay, cool. So I turned Popple into a black panther. That's what I did. Not a Ooh. pink panther. Okay, b before do -do -do -do. we continue this, <laughs> Merrick, you're pretty good at drugs and poisons, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna show you these files. Uh, these files. Okay, yeah. three fi files. Yeah. yeah. Uh, GM, As I should remember I, it, should I, should we were a drugs and poison roll. Yeah. What was it? Help me spread this one by the extract drugs specifically. Crap, though. Uh, 19. Yes. Uh, as you open it, you can definitely smell that it's bitter root, bitter root vapors. Uh, you can inhale these, these and uh, get a uh, plus in perception and night vision. Uh, it's used by scouts in the, the uh, Anturian forests and in Redwood to uh, be able to see better at night. But it doesn't okay. go... I, I can't go from like pitch dark to... No, no, it doesn't help you see better in the dark. It helps uh, other r people like goblins and humans uh, to you see get... better in the dark. They'll get sort of the same bonus as you do, but it does increase your perception. How much? It does make you more alert. Yeah, how many doses is it though? Uh, three doses. Okay, so they have to drink the whole vial to make it. No, they they inhale the vapors from it. Okay. But how how much uh, how much perception you get? You get uh, plus one perception. Uh, okay. If you overdose, though, you know, uh, Merrick, you know that uh, if you overdose on these, uh, since they affect your uh, breathing as well, uh, you might suffocate. So you should be careful how much you take. Okay, so I will go. I will go. Uh, I will explain this to the to the crew. Okay guys, this is a uh, bitter root vapor. Uh, it will help you get a little bit better night vision uh, while we're down here and also better perception. It's, you oh, this is good. This is from yeah, the camp. Or? Yeah. yeah, but Merrick, I don't understand why you're telling everyone because it's mine. Yeah, but so, he also I don't need know. it because there is a big thing called babe down here. Yeah, yeah. You but, should do everything at once though. No, we should not do everything at once. You, should, you don't uh, overuse it. But give it a quick Sniff? Is that enough, Jim? Uh, oh, well, you have to take a deep, deep sniff. Okay, deep, deep. Right. It's gonna take a you have to while. Buffer. Yeah. So, I am grabbing those bottles from Berg's hands like, let it go. Let these people have it, because we will need it now. And uh, yeah, yeah. let people sniff around. Yeah, so stay again uh, in Victoria. Yeah, and or do we, we only have three doses, so... Three doses. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's... Oh yeah, Stig. Okay. Virgin. Next battle. This is very kind. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this, because I wrote it down in my yeah. backpack. You remove it. Yeah, I did. So next one. Can I keep the... Oh, oh, oh what, was I it keep... three different ones, or was it three no, same? Th three same. Uh, so yeah. let's see, it was Stig. Jenna and Vicky. Yeah. Can yeah. can I keep the liquid for future use in some way? Is it no, like... as they sniff it up it evaporates. Okay. Yeah. So it's empty vials. I can oh, so what... empty vials in my They still stink a bit, but they yeah. don't have that effect, oh, effect when you sniff. Oh, okay. So it wasn't three different ones, but three the same ones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, Pot Pot is leading the way with Tyr, is this correct? Yeah. Okay. You said what? Yeah, so Tyr Pot and Tyr. Pot Pot in front, and everyone else, and then I go last. Okay, this is good. So line up. Marek, you want to go second? Uh, I or third? I, 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 can go, I can go in front of Victoria. Trying to be nice. Up, up. <laughs> okay. So just grab uh, your ponytail. <laughs> uh, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> where is Tyr? 
Perhaps uh, we, uh, oh, the, the ones too who are wearing armor should go first, yes? Yeah. But from... Uh, uh, and pot pot in front. The other way, but apart from that. Jenna like that, and you in the back, and pot pot in front. Okay, and pop -pop. Can I have pot in the back? Back me up. Thank you. Yeah, and you okay. like okay. second to last, so that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. okay. So. Let's go. It's, I'm just gonna give Jen a player permission for this one. The cat? The cat? I'm a kitty cat. Yeah. Alright. Well, Tyr, you're leading the way. Oh, yay. Let me uh, make a perception check, perhaps. Perhaps? Let's see what I see. I shall uh, perceive nothing. Nothing. No, I shall perceive wall. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wall, people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ho hold on, hold on. I actually have something. I got the eyes of a I'm a, I'm a mountain dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, no. I, uh, I actually know exactly where I am because of my her mountain heritage. Yeah, good way of yeah, I, I, I want to put the hand on the mountain. Try if I can feel something. You feel yourself. Am I you? Are you me? <laughs> are we each other? <laughs> we are. Why am I the one? Why? Why do I control the two second to first and third? Yeah, walking here. As you come around the corner, something flash okay. flies out at you. So you can't ah. really see what it is. Something dark. Uh, oh God! But I you. see what it is. That is scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am back. Kaka. Kaka. <laughs> All right, well, I, I'm gonna swat at it, and if it doesn't attack me, I'm gonna stand still. It will answer with Leon. Squeaks and flies away. Squeak! Dude. Is it that big? Because that's kind of my size. Yeah. Yep, that's about your size. Oh, crap. Oh, that was nasty. Today. That is, that is actually a mammal. I can turn it into another mammal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, turn it all coming on along back there. Yeah, kind of stuck. And yeah, Popple is like, no, no, we are. Uh, we're watching uh, the, the bat. first dead bodies that you've found in here. I can't, I can't move uh, uh, Popple uh, GM2. So you have to move Popple. Yeah, but Jenna can, right? But Jenna, I don't think Jenna is. She's not with us anymore. Oh, oh she's not, uh, she's playing Tales by. Or at the moment. You? Oh no. Yeah. She's Let's see here. still in Discord, right? Oh, okay, you yeah. gave it to me. No, yeah, my yeah. mom appeared in my room. I had to talk to her. Oh. Uh, hey, mom. Say hi, mom. Hi, Eva. Hi, mom. I'm good. I will tell her that she said hello, but she's <laughs> already left. No. <laughs> okay. Fine. How rude. Oh, Is it? Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna do a fast this. So, uh, uh. whoa! Uh, yes, I would like uh, Stieg to make a def the uh, defensive action. Of As course, you hear I something will. up uh, beside you, to your left. Ooh. You see something move, and it jumps out towards you. Oh my god! All right, I'll use my shield, please. No, wait, yes. do I have that? I don't okay. think I have it up, but I do have my shield up because I used that as a walking stick. All right. Um, uh, I guess so. I'm turning cleaver. What does Burke roll? <laughs> Why does Burke roll? <laughs> Who does Burke roll? I'm gonna explain soon. <laughs> oh wow! They threw far. They flew far. Oof. So cool. That's not crap. But it's no 16. doubles. Come on. Oh. Sixteen yeah. plus. No. Yeah. 60, uh, 20, please, sir. Yes, so uh, as you see something on flying word, you block it and you catch a big spider on top of your uh, cleaver. Uh. And it sort of wriggles and tries to get to you, but you're fending it off with the uh, uh, with the weapon, holding it between you and its uh, sort of thingy. What do you call it? Incisors? <laughs> Incisors? Incisors. 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 Incisors, yes. So yeah, it's trying to bite you, 
Uh, but you manage to keep the pincers away with your cleaver. May I squat it with my morning star? Yes. Uh, the three of you, uh, the two Anturians and the dwarf, I'll try to squish it. Start so hacking away. Uh, may oh, Mary Mary look at Pot and say, What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you said it was one. This is a tiny one. Is this babe? Uh, I didn't yes. say that. Uh, the dead body here. Can we uh, talk about that? <laughs> so, can we, can we talk about this? 22, please. Uh, 26, G. 26? Yes. And 22. Yes. The thing is, the spider has a lot of dice, though. Yes, but it rolled very low. 6. Yes. Spider giving Stieg a Stieg, descri describe your attack. How do you mutilate this? Uh, how do you try to mutilate this booter? Right. Uh, so, so it, uh, well, it's stabbing at me with its uh, mouth parts and uh, front legs, I'm assuming. I'm just gonna fend it off and then uh, make a quick slice towards just towards uh, as many of ice as possible. Just like, uh, 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 and there we go. The eyes, four eyes on the left side sort of burst open and green goo uh, splatters. Four eyes. <laughs> uh, sort of, uh, green goo sort of splashes on the ground and towards your armor. As ha Hannibal comes and smashes two of its legs, so it's sort of crippled and uh, lying on the floor. And then the killing blow goes to the dwarf. Right. Well, uh... Well, that is a... Let's just do a top-down splat right on the head. Like, bringing all the spider and sword and all other manners of nastiness down on the ground. Splat under Morningstar. As the large Morningstar goes through the uh, large uh, body of the spooter, splashing the green goo up on the walls, it makes a large sort of squeeing noise that echoes uh, through the chamber. And you hear a army. large clicking and uh, ah. a shifting of stones. Uh, Something well. moves in the cavern darkness. Okay. Like a shadow moving through the caves. Why and that I? is where we will <laughs> end today's oh, session. Bro. Okay, get before. I rolled 16 on climbing up. Like All here. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so imagine they were punching it and then I climbed up here and I'm gonna begin there next time. Yes. Yay! Never. You're the first spider we'll see. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe can chase it off? It's it's kinda too late, but why didn't I use silent everybody so we didn't make any sound? Oops. No. Well, too slow. well it's too no. late. Too late, too late. Okay. Thank you for today's session. Oh, sorry, what Thank did you, you say, Jenna? Oh. <laughs> Can we get Jenna back on the line? <laughs> Beep, boop, boop, boop. I think you said hindsight is twenty twenty. Ah, oh, yes. And it came out of nowhere. Hmm. All right. Well, thanks for that. So, how typical oh, is it that we like spend the first seventy-five percent of the session doing absolutely nothing? Well, like we were role playing. So you yeah, were yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, getting nowhere in the in the actual game, and then uh, <laughs> last twenty-five percent is like <laughs> everything happened. All right, now everything. Let's it's go. It's, so it's, it's the game too. I saw my right, mansion right. in a dark. Hellish right. dream yeah, world sorry, that with happened. a lady. And I was a man. I have a lady friend, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lady friend. a witch interest. queen. <laughs> Everybody that listens to this stream should draw a picture of Tyr and the wicked queen from the tomb. A love in yes. relationship. We would love to see that. Oh, oh god. god. Yeah. Oh, god. It is the almost 300 year old dwarf. 
with the thousands of years old, <laughs> we can wish on the waste. <laughs> we, we, yeah. al we also have this moment here where where this tiny spooder is kind of giving Stig a blowjob down here. So we are having love interests <laughs> everywhere. It's great. Oof. Oh wow. Arachnids. Yeah. Going good. Uh, I mean, at, at least it's polishing his shaft. <laughs> okay, we should stop before we do this anything worse. Uh, I want to say thank you all for joining us this evening. And if you stop, yeah, that is good. Thank you. I was uh, I was a little bit late, but uh, I got it. But you got it. Yeah, I mean, you're writing stop for like 10, 10 notes. You could just put one up. Okay. Anyway. Um, I want to thank everybody this evening. It was great, a uh, great deal of fun. And we, we <laughs> oh my God. I'm always with you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh shit. I'm always <laughs> with you. Love you life. Um, I, I mean, we are in a dark, secluded place. <laughs> Jesus, Could you call this get some Could you call tension? this a love tunnel? I mean, like... <laughs> I mean, let's get some centuries-old jiggy going. <laughs> okay, anyway, we are <laughs> checking. If you have been watching this and you enjoyed us, uh, feel free to join our Discord. It has been written down on, in the chat, but also in the description. Um, if you're interested to help us out even more, you can check out our Patreon. Uh, if you become a Patreon, you will also get more access on the Discord server. And, Example, and your own character in our and world. your own character yes or maybe if you want to be a like spider, big brain can be yeah boy yeah, like big brain <laughs> character. uh and you can or if you don't want to be a human or you can be the babe uh we, we don't judge you um so good do that go in be a part of it love it make us terrified mostly <laughs> hank makes us terrified but yeah uh great deal of fun i don't know what more to say i love you all and i'm tired and i'm <laughs> gonna end this stream uh, in, in three so goodbye everybody. bye everyone bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. <laughs> bye, -bye.